All right. Welcome in. Hello, everyone. How's it going? I see Ruby from Rushing Wind Mountain, Tam Tamara from Heartland HQ with Dink and Tank, Joe from, I started to say Joe, take that back, Garden State so and so. Welcome in, you guys. I know, I'm yeah. on my phone, so it's going to seem a little weird. And right now we have Heather from Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. I hope y'all are familiar with her. If not, please go check her out. That lady is full of knowledge, so talented, like everybody else around here. <laughs> y'all are awesome. Thank you. And Susan, what you doing down there, Susan? <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Ow, I I'll be I'll turn myself around in a minute as soon as I can get my bearings here. I feel like uh I got a stuffy head right now. Hello, Troy. Welcome in. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to smash the buttons. <clears throat> smash them, smash them. And Kathleen from my Alabama Farm Life is here. So far, we have Everybody, yes. happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. I know I am so messed up. You guys bear with me. I was telling Susan that I usually work on Fridays and Saturdays, but I wanted to switch my schedule. And so they put me on Sunday and Sunday is my rest day. So yesterday <laughs> was Sunday. I worked. I woke up this morning not knowing that it was Monday. And I had to ask my husband, what day is it? He said it's Monday. I said, oh yeah, I got a live stream then. I guess I better get with it. <laughs> yeah, where are we? I don't remember. I don't. I, mm, and I even went to bed early. I'm like, oh my goodness. I Everybody just I feel hello. like this uh, gardening season and all the things going on everywhere. It's kind of um, going so fast and <laughs> it <laughs> is so very much. Mm -hmm. We actually cheated a little bit and we went to an Amish nursery and we picked up a few plants. Um, what did we pick up? We picked up some lettuce, some cabbage, some cauliflower. Ew. I don't even wow. remember, but I'll, I'll be doing a video on that. Hello, oh. Nanny Tan. Welcome in. Hi, Nanny Tan. Deb S., the Pug Mama Quilter. And you, mm -hmm. lady and gentlemen, and whoever's in here, um, Heather is also, I, you are co-streaming, correct, young lady? I believe so. Okay, yeah, because I've seen a little chain. We okay. are all working on our watch hours. I am so close to my 3K, so if y'all would like to help me out nice. and bounce back and forth between us, that is fine. I'm, because at least at the 3K, I can get my partial monetization, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I am so close, so close. I'm like, I think I need like 75 four more hours for a partial so wow i think I've yeah i seen that this morning and i was like super excited i'm like whoa i think and i have what I something like that <laughs> so I'm gonna be so. welcome in welcome in is susan is still in the back? excuse me hon is susan still down in the in the i think better <clears throat> And Gail, I, hope, I wonder if Gail's busy because I uh, sent it to her Broken Hearts Ministry. I know y'all have things going. I, like I said, I forgot. So the all the emails went out late and I do apologize for that. And Deb S. Pug, that's a mouthful. Deb S. the Pug Mama Quilter, she is in here. And Paula from P&J Homestead Adventures, Brain Fart, sorry y'all. Ruby from Rushing Wind Mountain. Does anybody have any questions for Heather? How's it going, Paula? Paula's our mod. She does an awesome job. Oh, okay. The um Susan at the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch said she didn't get the link. <clears throat> she got the link because she said that she didn't forget. What the heck? Okay. I'm gonna post it in the bottom if you did not get it, Susan. Is that okay? This what do you think? Let's see, present or invite, invite, okay. Copy, okay. And I invited everybody, so I did not feel right canceling my live today. Yeah. Okay. No, that's okay. You know what I mean? 
because we're all going through the there's the link susan if you want to grab it and come on up it would be much appreciated i must have banged my hand at work yesterday this sure does hurt <laughs> i know every i do that all the time i'll get little cuts or whatever and i'm like i don't remember it's like right by my knuckle and it hurts it's like mm. and you know you don't have much skin on the back of your hand yeah i got a That's mosquito a bite last week right in between two knuckles oh my and it was annoying because yeah <laughs> mm. oh. hi Teresa. how is everybody's monday Are you yeah, happy monday Doing some good stuff or just kind of taking it easy? I don't know. I'm taking it easy. Oh, definitely. I am. Well, I am for now. And then after the live, I think he's wanting to go try to plant the rest of the plants that we purchased. And I have to go get rocks out of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Make it he said, I wrote it to him. You have to get out there and get those rocks. I'm like, okay. Welcome in, Teresa. Yeah, I've got to set up my. Um, I've got shelving set up for my seed starting, and so I need to hang all my lights on it and get all my trays and my soil. So I'm going to be working on that for the next couple of days, getting all my seeds started. So that'll be a lot of work. All right, Miss Susan. Did I hey y'all! <laughs> hey y'all! <laughs> Bear with me, you guys. I'm just still, still trying to get my bearings here. This is weird looking at everybody on the phone and trying to read the chat. I'm sorry. And then That's I broke a, my tripod. Make sure so, you take that link back down. You don't want everybody coming up. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know I'm a load of day. So I made myself some tea with some elderberry syrup and honey in it because my son's had a cold and I've been been feeling the the drain like yeah. tired and stuff so i'm in i'm trying to fight it <laughs> oh what kind of tree that tree tea do you drink I, i'm a coffee mm -hmm. drinker myself right now i'm drinking just black tea but i have a lot of different uh green teas and like i like the hawaiian mixed tea it's got like some Ooh. coconut and different things in it that's really yummy oh that sounds yummy that sounds I yummy do chamomile because if I um, get chamomile mm -hmm. on my face, um, I get like burning red hot. Like really? I'm it or something? I don't know. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> you're allergic to it. Yeah, uh, Nanny mentioned I burned my back on my what? Burned the back of my hand and didn't realize it till the next day. Yes, I get I do that stuff all the time. Welcome, Indiana and Teresa Jukowitz. It, Dean, I, I have a video face. on my channel about how to make the elderberry syrup if you were interested. I don't even know if I have elderberries. I, there was a plant out here that I thought was an elderberry, right? My husband said, that's a milkweed. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't even, oh, you guys would have died laughing. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, do I feel like an idiot? <laughs> but then I was somewhere else and there was them little purple, I guess little blue purple berries or whatever. They were hanging there. I said, that's got to be an elderberry. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Once you see one, you'll know. So just like, what well, I would do is I'd pick it up. Huh? I said, well, maybe that was one that was hanging. Yeah, once you look them up, uh, like a whole bunch of images of elderberry, oh. then you'll know. You'll know. Okay. That's what I need to do. I need to, I guess, Google the plant itself, right? Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. What does elderberry plant look like? And then look at all the images, and then you'll know. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, Troy Sutton has a question. I'm sorry. i just now seen it. I'm new to grow lights and heat mats. Heat was set to 80, and algae grew in the bottom. Was it because it was in front of the window? That's because it, it stayed moist, and it was too hot. So sometimes people turn on fans on real low for, like, part of the warmer part of the day to get air circulation that's one thing that you might try yeah a lot of people put little you know they sell the little clip fans where you can put them a clip to, to your little pole and it blows Just a little breeze across them too and that also helps with stimulation. 
dink and tank. I really like that. It's really cute. <laughs> oh, they're sweethearts. Yeah. Her hubby's got one on there. What's he? What? It's uh, the country boy. It's funny. Anybody else have information on that? I'm just learning about the grow lights. So I started them this year. I mean, we I grew stuff inside last year, but yeah. everything ended up being so leggy because they were searching for the light is why they get really leggy. So if you do, yeah. I've learned a lot from a lot of gardeners, um, the rustic gardener and, and my gardener that when um, you do that inside, you should have, um, they should be really close to the light so that when they pop, as soon as they pop out of the ground, they're not going to start reaching for it. They're going to come out naturally and yeah. they're not going to reach for the skies like they're stretching. And then you just yeah. adjust the light. Instead of adjusting your light, adjust, put something underneath it and adjust it from the bottom up. To, and that way you can lower it without well, having to make it holding apart. Yeah. Yeah. So typically I think it's an inch to two inches with yes. the light above the plant and you just keep, yes. you know, raising it up or moving. You can, lower, you can use books or anything. Mm -hmm. And the, I think a lot of people too, I didn't realize this either. I did. Um, I started a bunch of uh, cabbage and they are a cold weather crop. Once you use that heat mat to get them germinated, take them off of that heat mat. So you don't burn them up. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I, I don't, don't do anything. That for light. <laughs> so I'm totally lost here. Well, technically, you don't really have to go out and purchase the grow light. You can actually use a shop light as long as your mm -hmm. lumens is at least 6,500 and the Kelvins are 55 and above. That's well, all you need. And it's a lot cheaper. Fish tank it's lights, too. You can use those. Yes. If you have little yeah. lights, then like, um, you know, old fish tanks or whatever you had mm -hmm. in, the, in the tank lights. <laughs> Those were exactly, too. exactly. I actually have one in my living room. Hello, uh, Tony Walsh and Rebecca. Welcome, man. Thank you for coming. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up on everybody's live. And there's Miss Wendy. Welcome in, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. And Ooh, my right grandma. Kind of. Oh, I'm going to have to. Ah. I mean, we got Hardneck Farms on here and Marisa. Uh, <laughs> Jukowitz. I don't want to start the cam. I'm trying to get add somebody to the stage, and I'm on my phone, so y'all probably gonna go crooked for a second. That's my okay. Analogy. We'll go crooked. Okay. We don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> we're all right. Oh, we got Tina coming up. <laughs> That's who it is. Are you hey. Tina? I can't see. You. Okay. And if somebody can help me keep an eye on the chat, that would be good. lovely. Being by I'm on my phone. We've got Cecilia Jan. We got That's simply nice. Jan in the house. Oh, like hello, Miss Jan. Take her out. My hand is so sore, you guys. Oh, <laughs> oh. we can thank all the moderators. Oh, why we got? Oh, am why I, we am got I like, glitchy? No, it might be me. Cause who's glitchy? Me. I'm wondering if. Yeah, you're glitchy. Uh, just a, just yeah, just a little because bit. You're robotic. Am I? Yeah. Okay. I'll Tony fix that in a second. PSB, howdy, driving and listening. Thank you very much. We are all working on our watch time. And I was telling um, Heather earlier that I am only 74 hours away from my partial monetization. Hey, so hey. I'm excited. Yeah. Get excited. So I'm really Congratulations. Excited. Yeah. Thank, uh, if I get there. <laughs> I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing it. It is what it is. I'm just sticking to the plan, trying to put out better content. Um, I just had a video it, uh, for the homemade chicken and rolled dumplings, which I got from Virginia Alexandra. Have you you all should be familiar with her. That recipe is a keeper, y'all. That sounds my delicious. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Yes. I did a video on it. And I tagged her in it to give her credit. We got Tamika Davis and let's see who else did I see come in? Uh, Blue Self Reliance, welcome in, welcome in. Yes, whoop whoop. Somebody said Jan said whoop whoop. Yeah, so bear with me, y'all. 
like I said, I feel like I'm flushed right now. That's why I haven't shown my mug yet. I don't want to scare y'all. <laughs> but, <I, laughs> but my the computer decided it didn't want to work today. I'm like, oh my gosh, I promised these lovely ladies that I was going to do my live and I'm doing my live. So you are, you're doing it. You're here. Hi, Suburban Hill. I didn't, Hill want want down. I didn't want to let y'all down. I can't do that. I just can't do that. I just can't do that. <gasps> Blue, welcome in. We have some plans this week. Some it's exciting plans. Day, we said. What we got going on, ladies? And chat. It could be. Yeah, and chat. Well, we're going to be putting in our garden, um, getting it tilled up Saturday. And of course, Sunday is Easter, so we'll be at church on Easter. But I'm so excited to get my garden tilled, y'all. We oh, went, yay, Susan, that's exciting. We went that's and picked so up job, Susan. We went and picked up some scoops of horse manure that's composted. So we're gonna mm -hmm. work that in and uh some of it'll go into the raised beds and some of it'll be underneath the plastic that we're gonna be laying. That's nice. Awesome. Good job. Congrats, Susan. Good. Our chickens are our well, I shouldn't say chickens. The ducks are actually homeless right now. My husband <laughs> went out there and he was going to move the pen with the truck. Okay. Uh oh. Picture, and he messed yeah. up. Uh -huh. It was an old pen. It was an old dog pen. So uh -huh. he, he's taking it down and the ducks had to camp camp out with the chickens and they weren't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Suburban Hellbilly. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. And Heather, what do you have going on? Hey, man, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I've been kind of, uh, I've been very lethargic because my son has a sinus cold. So I took a, like an hour and a half nap on Saturday. And then this morning I got up early and then I laid back down. I was out. So I've been oh. kind of sleeping, trying to fight off what he had. So I've got oh. my tea with some elderberry syrup in it, hoping that I can. You got out. this. You got this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Alfonso. Welcome in. And Michelle. Yes, welcome Chasing in. Hi, Alfonso. Welcome in. Thank you all for coming. And what about you, Miss Tina? What you got going on, lady? Can she hear me? Is she frozen? Oh, I I'm started. recovering from my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Am I frozen? You were. No, you were for a second. You're good now. You're frozen. I yeah, think it's where I'm sitting. Up. I'm. I'm. It's where I'm sitting. So let me. I'm gonna move really quick and see if okay. that helps. Okay. I'm all, I'm all snuggled in the corner in my recliner. So. Oh, I'm, so he's uh, all comfy. Know. You're all comfy, comfy. And I'm recovering from the weekend. How's that sound? Oh. Oh, no. Alfonso said his chicken coop caught on fire. What? I didn't have one no of those heat lamps coops. in the chicken coop, Alfonso. Yeah, no heat lamps. Get the, the heat plate. It's a flat plate. Hey, Grow Big TV. Welcome in. Hoogie Homestead. Hello. Hoogie. Hoogie. Our new land. I know. I always want to say it the other way or whatever way it comes out my mouth. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to hear that, Alfonso. Booga. Booga. <laughs> hey, Joe, <don't> <laughs> <Yep. laughs> So, oh. Alfonso, you have to rebuild your chicken coop. That's all you can do. <laughs> yeah. That's Let's it. Like Renaissance grandma, Rebecca touched by yarn. That's Teresa. awesome. That's awesome. Here. Anybody in chat? What are you guys working on this week? Anything? Yeah, what's everybody in chat been working on until Tina gets set, situated? Yeah. Goldie, that's a new one. Hello, Goldie. Hardneck Farms said they were trying to get their beds built, the house built, lots going on. Yeah, she's got a lot going on. She's got some great um, beds going on. I saw a video um, a little bit while back that she was working on. Oh, thank you, Nanny Tam. I am actually, well, we actually got in strawberry plants this weekend and three ro roseberry, ra roseberry, raspberry bushes, <laughs> 50, 50 strawberry plants. So 
Oh my. That's, yeah. that's going to be amazing. Hi, Goldie. Hey, Welcome in. I saw these, I forget what garden company. It was one of those magazines that you get in the mail um, for ordering like different plants and stuff like that. And they had these um, strawberry towers and it was like a ring. And then the second ring was a little bit smaller and went up. And then a third, mm -hmm. like a tiered thing. Hello, Ring Bridge. Welcome in. Thank and you. you plant, like 50 strawberries in that top, that thing. I don't I don't have yeah, I've got it. I've got fifteen of those little tri tripod pots, you know, that you oh, yeah, stack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I had forty five planters, so I planted some of them double. Yeah. Okay. Right. I have a uh, um, green stock that I have some strawberries, and I like that because the slugs, you know, like if you have slugs at all, they don't really get up in there. They can, but you know, it's easier. Like yeah, it's the bourbon hillbilly said they have seeds to have to wait again. Uh, P&J has a cactus to finish transplanting so he can start their seeds. And Blue's uh, self-reliance says, I just pulled my apple pie out of the oven. I'm coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm coming to your house because that sounds delicious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I had a homemade lasagna I had in the freezer. I had made extra. I did a meal prep and it was so good last night. Mm. Hey, Kevin. Welcome in. Kevin with Tuber Chats in the house. Thank you. Thank you all for coming in. Make sure you smash those like buttons for everyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. In. Jamie is just a few hours away from reaching her first tier of monetization. So y'all share this out with everybody get them on board and get them in my, here that's my goal was for my birthday at least to have the partial and i'm almost there my birthday's in june hopefully i can do it thanks to you guys and gals is we're it gonna keep calling for dropping the links is we're gonna keep on pushing <laughs> oh i'm not giving up i'm i'm stubborn i'm stubborn <laughs> hey uh tracy that's tracy with pallets pouts Perfumes and panning, or Phoebe, one of the two. Yeah, I ain't on screen, y'all. In case you're wondering, I'm feeling a little rough today. I'm flushed and stuff. I feel like I'm running a fever. But See, I, I'm, I here, for, I'm look, here for the ladies. I'm here for the ladies. Help everyone out. D, I'll look and see if I have any tomatillo seeds, and if I do, I'll send you some. We got um, Cruz oh, in the house. You. Welcome in. I welcome everybody in. I don't care whose chat you're in. I appreciate y'all just being here for everybody. Much appreciated. Much love and respect. Okay. I'm typing on my cell phone, y'all. So if I type it wrong, you forgive me because my fingers are fat. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said about um, me. I'm on my phone. My computer didn't want to work today. So um, do you guys know about the seed, any of the seed swaps that are going on that, <clears throat> sorry, maybe we uh, should mention? Yeah. Yes, please do. Please do. Okay. So we have India. You guys have to help me because she's a new channel to me. Indiana. Gardner. Backyard Gardner. Yeah. And Indiana so Backyard she, Gardner, I think. Yeah. She's doing a seed swap and she does an amazing job. Um, trading seeds so you email her and you request seeds and you can say a few seeds you don't want and then you send in some seeds she's <laughs> got all the rules on a video um if somebody can find her channel link i think is that how we do it Hey Beverly Moffitt, welcome in. Yeah, Indiana Backyard Gardener. It's she she's so organized and she she makes sure that you get the seeds that you want from it's just amazing. Hi, Jane Doe. I can't, read, I can't read it, but I had to pop her up there. Your okay. dumplings look scrumptious. <laughs> yeah, so that's um okay. Northern Girls Hot Northern Girl Hobbies has a seed swap. Oh, Virginia, I am so sorry. Virginia lost a longtime friend today, so I'm not myself. Please pray pray for her family. So everybody, please say prayers for her, for Virginia and the family. Please put we'll that do. in your prayers. We'll do. Please. 
I know Susan well. I'm a prayer person. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I am so sorry, Virginia. And thank you again for the recipe. It was delicious. We've got Jane Doe and Troy Sutton. Oh, hello, the Jane Doe. Virginia Alexander. And then also Kettle Kitchen is another channel that is putting I didn't together. even know about that one. Yeah, he's putting together um, a seed swap um, where you can volunteer to donate seeds or just receive or donate and receive seeds. So if you email Kettle Kitchen and put in the subscription seeds and put down how many you'd like to donate or if you'd like to just receive or both, um, he's trying to get all that put together by the end of this month. So if you're looking for seeds or new seeds for next year or this year, those are some great channels to get involved with. And, and Gail just dropped one too, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. She, let me get back up here to her. I, yeah, the IBG seed swap. Mm -hmm. She dropped then, a link to that. And then you've got Joe on Garden State Gardener who um, does his Sunday fun day videos during the week. So you, you type something in his video and on Sunday he does a spinning wheel and he gives away seeds to people on the spinning wheel. So that's another option to get some more seeds as well. Well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday on Grow Big TV, he's having an interview and he will be giving some seeds away from MI Gardener and Mary's Heirloom Seeds as well. So if you've got uh, Tuesday available, go check that out on Grow Big TV. Those on my channel can drop the word hillbilly and drop the link. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. And also you're going to, you're going to notice that Nightbot on my channel is dropping all kinds of open collaborations. We have tons and tons of open collaborations to get involved in. Heather, when did your. Oh no, I didn't hear you. When is hot and cold? Is that an, an open it for all summer or. Yeah, that's all summer long. Like I thought okay. it would be fun because spring, summer, and fall, we have all those yeah. different options of things we can do at home. So, yeah. Okay. Prayers, yeah. Angela. You've got a headache. I'm sorry to hear that, hon. Oh, sorry, Angela. So we had Kettle Kitchen. Um, and then we had Indiana, say it Backyard again. Backyard Gardener. Backyard Gardener. And what was the other channel I said for the seeds? Uh, it was Joe Garden State Gardener. Garden State Gardener, and then there was another ch uh, Kettle ch Kitchen. You said something about Kettle Kitchen. Yeah, work working on another one. Oh, um, Northern Girl Hobbies. She's also oh. doing one. Someone said in chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so check those out. Get involved. Get some seeds. You know. They'll have a, they should have a video up of what, what they want you to do. And some of them ask for um, stamps or something to help out for postage, but it's, you know, not a whole lot. Okay, Gail, I understand. I just happened to read that. Don't feel bad. I'm not mm -hmm. doing so swift myself today, right. but I'm here. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, have those days, Gail. We're praying for you too. Yeah. Yes. Prayers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of prayers going around. Oh my goodness. Yes. Gosh. Yes. I appreciate everyone coming in. I really do. Thank you. Lady. Know Short notice. It's been crazy in my small town is getting wilder in my really? county. Like yeah. just serious things are happening that are like. Not normal, right? No. Right. Not at all. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Hey, Jane. So, um, I recently took a basic survival class. So if you guys can find like a local gardening group or um, thank you some other community resources you, in your areas, like the library and stuff like that, and some self mm -hmm. defense classes. Yes. Um, well, we have poo poo pew pew, so we're good. 
Basically, <laughs> River. We got few, hey, we got pew pews, and people from where we live at are scared to death to come up our driveway anyhow. And then we have signs posted, mm -hmm, and we have hunting dogs that will track you down. <laughs> Anything well, if it moves, our dogs let us know. Yeah, we are too in our in our area, but because I am in Northwest Oregon, I am not too far away from Portland. Well, oh. that's, that's the thing. It's, oh it's, my. it's spreading out. It's spreading it out. It's spreading mm -hmm. out. Where you're at. Yeah. 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 That just, I don't know. They had canine in the next town over last night looking for someone with oh drones. I don't even know what that person did or <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Sometimes the the more the less you know, the the safer you're going to be. Yeah, and the the local high school had something last Thursday with with some things, and I'm like, I'm glad my youngest son is homeschooled, so I didn't pray know hedge of protection around your family. I cannot oh, stress honey. enough. Pray for your family and your friends. Listen, down in Memphis. I used to live in Memphis. It was getting bad when we moved it's out of the years ago. It's really not that bad, Garden State so-and-so. It's really not. But Memphis, the security guards are walking around with AKs. Wow. Seriously. Walking mm. around with AKs. So you want to be careful wow. wherever you go. Uh, people are shooting people on the interstate. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. Welcome, Welcome in, in Jesse Miller. I'm boxing and more. Hey, I'm glad y'all yes. came in. Sorry, I feel like no, crap today. Um, <laughs> it's just it's just the sign of our times, and we know if, it is. if any of you are believers yeah. or not. This I am. Is, we we know this is nothing of God's making. This is all a mm -hmm. spiritual battle. This is of the evil one. Yep. Yeah, and as Susan said, go out and anoint your home and pray protection around your property and. Walk it and pray and yeah. have your own tools everywhere. And, and be prepared in all ways. That's what yeah. I'm going to say. Exactly. In terms of that as we want, be prepared in all ways. Right? There's Finley, a lot that we don't know about. At Finley actually confirmed what I just said about what's going on down in Memphis. Uh, it is getting very, very dangerous out there, folks. So make sure when you leave your home that you're prayed up that you, because you don't know. God doesn't mm -hmm. tell us when, when our last day is going to be. Yeah. Nope. So you want to make sure that you're prayed up. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Alfonso, you need to pay attention. <laughs> what happened? Hi, he, was, he got caught on camera by his neighbor without looking when he crossed the street and got in trouble. So uh -oh. he got in trouble again. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> you gotta pay attention because people on the roads don't always pay attention. Mm -mm. No. No, they don't. They don't. Oh well, well, thank you for dropping the links. I appreciate that. Yeah, everybody go check everybody's channels out if you yes, haven't. We do. Yes. Uh, we've all got things to share and share. We all are working on something, whether it's growing our channel or getting our watch hours in. Go check us all out. So yeah, I, I have a boring channel. Go check out those ladies that are with me. <laughs> My channel is boring. <laughs> Just come watch us because we're on here. That's all you we want. <laughs> we want you to come watch us. <laughs> so well, I'll tell you. Okay. On, on well, you Saturday. still need to pay attention, even though you have that. Getting on Alfonso again. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> People don't pay attention. They don't, but Alfonso will do what Alfonso wants to do. I can see Alfonso. The truth? Hello, Rudy. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Welcome in. Hey, Thank Rudy. You. There's our buddy. Thumbs up, please. Does anybody have any questions oh, for any of the ladies? I would Woo. never live in Seattle. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's it's Thank just you, dangerous Thanks out for there. In. It's just dangerous out there, and we just need to be very, very vigilant of yeah. our surroundings and know what to do and when to and do. Anything. That's great, Dave. Can you That's um, great. pour me some? 
So Saturday, yeah. when we were leaving Baltimore, heading into Pennsylvania to be with our friends, um, if you're familiar with Maryland, we were crossing the Cowawinga Dam. Do you know yeah. what that is? I like that name, Cowawinga. Cowawinga, yes. Finley. Well, <laughs> little did I know, I was... Um, I did not know it's home to a lot of bald eagles because they go and they swoop down and they get the fish. So we were driving over, over the bridge, over the dam. And lo and behold, I got to witness four bald eagles just perched up in the tree. So I told my husband, you must take me back with my camera because there's trails down there too. So I yeah. can go get some pictures. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm lucky too, because, um, we have a lot of bald eagles where I am because I'm close to the river. So, yeah. Jesse, we have what part of Maryland? What part of Maryland, Jesse, are you from? No, I I forget. I forgot what part she's from. We have bald eagles that they released here ten years ago, and now we have uh -huh. several. And every spring, we see dozens of baby bald eagles flying. Oh, that's amazing. Now I have a question about bald eagles. So mm -hmm. most um, birds of most bird species, the male you, is Dan. the prettier looking bird. Is that the same for the bald eagle? Cause like yes. the turkey's pretty and the turkey hen is kind of just, you know. Yeah. Uh, the female bald eagle will have a white head, but the male bald eagle has a white head and a white tail. Oh, okay. That's, so that's nice. Really I didn't good. think about that. Yeah. yeah. And we also, they they released beavers in our area. Which beavers. Was, yeah, that was kind of fun because we came home one day and there was a tree that looked like somebody had been out there chopping it, you know, with an axe. Yeah. And it was a beaver building a dam. Huh. Yeah. They have, um, gosh, when we first moved in um, to where we're at, there is... Um, my son ran into somebody riding their horse around the area because I live in a rural area, lots of back roads. Anyhow, this area, somebody made a movie and in that movie they had brought in some, I guess, boars or wild boar. Well, they never collected them when they left. What? Yes. Oh. And um, the lady said wow. that her, her Roddy was actually attacked by one of them because Whoa. he was protecting her because it was going after the horse. And yeah, I'm thankful wow. I didn't run into him, but it's like, who leaves those out here? You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, the uh, bald, the female is bigger th than the male bald eagle. Yes. And also their wingspan is six feet mm -hmm. wide. Yeah. Right. And they build their nest in the top tallest trees and their nest are six They're feet massive. wide. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a photographer. He he's a great educator on bald eagles. His name is Mark Smith Photography. If you are on IG, go check him out. He has some amazing footage of of the eagle. It's it is amazing. The mother will push the babies out and when they're falling. She will fly under them and catch them and bring them back up to the nest and do this over and over again until they start flying. That's amazing. Gosh. That's amazing. Are, they mates, are they mates for life? Yes, I think so. they are. Yes, they yeah. are. Okay. Yes, they are. And their their one enemy is those wind turbines out in the, out west. The wind turbines are killing our bald eagles and other yeah. birds. Yeah. They have I'm been ever blessed. since they started putting them up. <laughs> I'm blessed because we have a landfill right up the street and the, the bald eagles have made nests up there. So I get to see them fly overhead every now and again. So I'm yeah. blessed that they're not too far. We yeah, have we, some area too. We have Hard, a lot of forest. Hardneck Farm says that they have a bald eagle come on their farm and we have uh, a lake close by and there's an Indian tribe that cares for them. So that's really nice. Yeah, good uh, Native Americans are yeah. the only one allowed to have a bald eagle feather. Thank you, Nanny Tam. It is a federal offense if you're not Native American and you have that feather. I hope everybody gets that memo that, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. I saw one um, on my road. I have a dirt gravel road that I live off of. And I was taking my student home and there it literally was in the middle of my road eating the skunk that was hit and killed. And yeah, that, uh, that, that, really that, thing, that I couldn't get over the wingspan when that thing got up and just like hovered over my vehicle. I was I was acting like a crazy person. My oh student my was like, <laughs> well, one time I saw a ball. Uh, um, what do you call those ugly birds? Vulture. <laughs> Vulture. Yeah, the the turkey, vultures. turkey was, buzzards or vultures? Yeah, it was standing like in my driveway and it was huge. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> it was big, so big. Yep, I get them over here all the time. Now, oh, we, hello, yeah, hello, we, welcome, hello. we have black eagles here too. Do you? Yeah. yeah, we have black eagles here that they released a few years back. And, um, so they're birds of prey and they will prey on our chickens. So we have to be out there. Of course we have hawks and owls and yes. all these birds of prey. So if I see any birds flying that circles around, cause they prefer live kill to <laughs> road kill. Yeah. Uh, I'm out there because as soon as they see a human, they usually leave the area. Well, so, you know, Susan, I have a enclosed area that my chickens roam free in because of the hawks and the fox and, and everything. And one day I was doing dishes and I looked out my kitchen window. I'm like, oh, and there was a hawk on top of that. Cause the roof part of my area is just like chicken wire. Right. And right. my poor chickens, when I went out there, they were so scared. They, they were hiding under the coop and they wouldn't move. They, until I walked in and shooed that, shooed that thing. And we have so many of them. My chickens a few times got scared of like the smaller planes flying over. Because mm, I yeah. suppose it looks like a giant bird. Yeah. But ours have lots of places to hide. So I noticed too that whenever there's a bird flying over, they'll all run to the area that they can hide in so, because they know that they're safe there. But our ducks are stupid. They'll just sit out there and look at them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> I'm here. Come get me. <laughs> yeah. Um, P and J's homestead said Jennifer seed swap. I don't know who that is. So, um, if you can he dropped the link right underneath it, I think. Is that the link? So that's Northern Girl Hobby. Is that her name? Her first name? Yeah. We we went out there one day, and there was a hawk sitting up on top of the chicken coop watching the chickens in the yard yeah but when i lived up in upstate new york we had a little dog and he was out there running around the yard you know like dogs do and he was a puppy and this big black eagle swooped down and grabbed him and i was beating this bird i was out there with a hoe or a broom or something i was beating the heck out of that bird to drop the yeah. dog wow Cause he was going to be a goner and he ended up yeah. being one of the best dogs we ever had. He looked like an English sheep dog, but he only weighed about 50 pounds, but it oh, was all wow. hair. hair. Yeah. Big old mop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was a great conversation on Eagles. I'm glad I'm not the only one obsessed with Eagles. <laughs> yeah. Well, so actually cool. my husband's native main, uh, native name, means eagle oh um, really yeah we used to be uh, members of the native american intertribal association down in um millington tennessee and oh, wow we went, we went through the naming ceremonies and he was named eagle and i was named hummingbird yeah hard neck farms that's so funny that's what took me so long because my dogs all looked at me going oh are you taking me out now so I had to do the same th thing. Yeah. I'm so tired today, ladies. Ugh. It's Monday. It's Monday. Oh, the week. Yeah. Mine will bite anybody that comes in the house, so don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, wow. Rebecca. Oh, hey, Suburban Hillbilly. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, my goodness, Suburban oh. Hillbilly. Had a oh. falcon flying oh. in her face and try to take the cat. I had it in my arms and a carrier. Wow. That was scary, I bet. That's traumatic. 
<laughs> I wow. a lot of these pots, perfumes, and panning. Welcome in. Yeah, I've had birds on my head before, like what? little, like little birds. I would be like out doing work, and then it would fly off from me, and I'm like, oh. no. <laughs> I'll have like a, sometimes like a hat or like I'll have my hair up in a oh, bun. You were mad, suburban. Oh man. Yeah. So who's gonna teach me how to set up Nightbot? I don't even know how to do it. Well, that's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> I, can kind of walk, I can kind of walk you through it, but it was um, it was Devil Dog that taught me how to do it. So. I have to go into my night bot to tell you how to do, to set it up. I also have weather. If, set somebody, up. if somebody. Well, if you can send me the link, I'm sure I can figure it out. I can do that. I'd appreciate that, Susan. Yeah. When you have a moment. Really night bot dot, night bot TV. Night bot. Yeah, I just want to make sure because I found TV. one and I'm like, and then. I'm just that type of person that if I'm not sure, I want to ask somebody what the site looks like. Hey, do you just have a direct link? And then that way I know I'm at the right yeah. site. Instead of pushing Let's the see wrong if I can grab I might be able to grab Nightbot's link. Nope, I can't grab it on there. Maybe I can grab it on mine. Hang on. Yeah, just you have my number, Susan. Just text me whenever, whenever it's convenient for you. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And yeah. I'm on Instagram too and Facebook. Myself. Well, Nightbot actually has a channel. On Instagram. I know Susan and I have. It's nightbot.com. Okay. It, 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 they have, it's a channel there and it, sh it tells you how to set it up. So I'll grab that. Okay. And drop that link to that. No, if I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like have I like having Nightbot, yeah, to draw the, the open collaborations and stuff. But this was kind of yeah. a fun thing where yeah. people can drop their channels too. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted it so people could drop their own channels. You know, yeah. And all you do is type in their channel information, and it'll drop. You type set a timer for it. Hello, Rochelle. Welcome drop. in, young lady. How are you today? Thank you for coming. I'm behind the scenes. I'm not feeling that great today, but I promised a live and we're getting a live. So I invited these nice, lovely ladies and they oh, graciously accepted and I surely do appreciate that. And they're yeah. all streaming. Well, we're doing it. I didn't know you were feeling under the weather. I'm sorry to hear that. Will you stop? I'm fine. I ain't died. I'm still kicking. I get on <laughs> here and I was fixing my hair in front of her. Yeah, she looks I was like, you're beautiful. I'm not <laughs> well, I'm just flipping well, mine all over the place. It's done grown out, y'all. I literally fell asleep and didn't even remember doing that in my chair. Hey, welcome to Land Homestead. Welcome in. And Brampton Gardner. Thank you, Andy. I'm not right missing there. anybody. I know. I know. Thank, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. And if y'all have any questions or something you want to talk about, we're uh, us ladies are game. We don't care. Yeah. Long as it's yeah. That to do with gardening or cooking or anything like that. Sounds hey, good to us. Dan and Kathy's in the house, handicapped traveler. Y'all make sure you're sharing this live out to help Jamie get those watch hours that she's after. Yeah. Or if you're on one of the other channels, make sure you're sharing them out. And and even if you'd be like Dan and be a Tigger and just bounce like from one channel to the next, just make sure you smash the thumbs up and give them, give them some watch out, watch time as well. Yeah. Share I don't, them. I don't uh, think jumping around works to be honest with you. I've learned that lesson. What's that? Yeah. If okay. they jump around from channel to channel, I don't think you're going to get credit for it. Well, what you can do is if you've got more than one, one device, piece equip, one device equipment, you can yes. run one channel on one and another channel on another. Right. Okay. Okay, but uh, I learned that. One. Hey, Kenneth Wilkinson, welcome in. Yeah, welcome in. Welcome Hello, in. Welcome in. Hey, Kenneth. How are I you? I went to a class at the library on how to make a um, basket using fabric. Using oh, fabric. Oh wow! 
Mm -hmm. Using fabric, yeah. Are you going to do it? Yep. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? She's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking that um, Thursday on my live, we're going to make an apron. And then I would talk about what to get in case people for the next week wanted to gather some stuff and do it with me. So oh, that's, I, oh, I like that idea. About, yeah. Talk like about like, what to do. And well, I think, Heather, you're on my live Wednesday. And so. Super Chat's going to be on there. So I'm excited. That's, That's wonderful. I look forward to coming in on that one. Yeah. Hey, Bella's Whisper Farmstead. Welcome in. Yes, thank you all for coming. Hey, Tuber Chat. Welcome in. Yeah, that'll be. Well, my live today was actually going to have all you ladies up there. And I purchased a uh, raised galvanized bed. I was going to sit on the floor and put it together while everybody chatted. But I like, yeah. I feel too bad. It's not going to be. It's still going to stay in the box. Well, <laughs> so, you can do it on a video day. now. <laughs> yep. Now, well, that's what I was thinking yeah. because I have to do my um, hashtag Garden Tour Club video. So I was going to include that in there because I have a lot of neat stuff I want to include. So I'll just put it on there. Well, I want to see. Did you get your um, raised bed from Amazon? Yes, I have two now, but one's together and one is not. <laughs> I have one, two, three. I don't know. I have four or five of those, and I'm going to get some more. I've ordered them. No, I really like them. Yeah, I think they're really nice. 30 minutes, no more than to put together. Um, yeah, they were easy and they're sturdy. Yeah, yeah they look nice. I'm thinking like um, the price, what you would spend in wood, and how long they last would well, be comparable. exactly that's why i changed my mind my husband was going to make me some elevated raised beds and i said uh no because i kept thinking about eventually they're going to rot out i see a lot of people burning the wood they say that it helps protect the wood from rotting out but and i priced the lumber and i'm like no i think i'll just buy some galvanized beds what yeah, do we get even the other raised beds through Vajega and the other one leading brand names i should say there are two to three hundred dollars a piece and i just I was at Tractor Supply today getting my chicken feed and hay for goats. And as I came around the, the area where the, all the garden stuff is, mind you, $5.98, $6 for a plant from Bonnie Bell. They're selling it in there. And I had to go out and look and see what how much they were oh, wow. uh, costing this year. But the point being, is their raised Wait. beds, like the ones that you get off of Amazon, the ones that I have, very similar to that, $299 at tractor supply we went yeah. a couple of years back yeah so do we, I. Heard that terms, but we purchased uh fire rings those metal fire rings there's only three parts you put it together they're three foot wide they're actually pretty good size three or four foot wide and about a foot deep and they work out wonderful for, for raised beds and they're so much cheaper than buying the raised bed kits I think we were paying like forty dollars a piece compared to two hundred. So, well, yeah. let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in here. So, if anybody's interested, but don't buy them all. I was on Amazon. I am a Prime member, and I'm doing the smaller ones, the four foot by two foot by one foot. Mm -hmm. And I purchased mine for twenty seven dollars. So yeah. they're they've gone down on price then recently. Twenty seven dollars. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, the bigger you go, like the six, they have a five by three and a six by three and eight by four. Then they, they get up there in price. But I wanted the smaller ones because I just, with the garden area that we have, it's it's huge. And I just wanted some of my own garden beds to, have to plant my fall crops and stuff in because he turns the turkeys loose in the garden to fertilize it and to clean up the mess that, you know what I mean? And this yeah. way, turkeys right. will be loose in the wintertime. I can't plant anything. So why not get me some raised beds and that way fill them up with the nice soil and um, have my fall harvest or fall plants in there. So that's, that's the goal. Okay, yeah. Good. You, might, good you may want to still put some fencing or something around them because turkeys will eat your vegetables too. Yeah, my, if the, um, the turkeys are totally fenced in, they can't get nowhere. They are, they have their own area. Um, I have videos on that. Our fence is six foot tall. Our garden is totally fenced in. Everybody is fenced in. The only thing is they don't have a protective netting over top. So we just clip their wings. And the hawks that fly by, they don't bother the turkeys. But if there's yeah. little young ones out there, they eyeball them for a while in the tree. 
And if they think they can get them and fly off with them, they will. But as they get older, the, the, our chickens get older, they don't they don't bother them as much. Right. I tell yeah. you what, our rooster went after our female turkey one day and she let them have it. <laughs> uh, our turkeys uh, outnumber our chickens. So our chickens learn to stay in their on their own side of the fence. <laughs> They're like, nope, ain't going over there. I have uh, one raised bed that I used a bunch of like um, old pieces of two by fours that I mm -hmm. put together. I have another one that I um, used a, a futon, the bottom half of a futon frame. And then we oh, put wow. in around the sides of it. So I've got a futon, raised futon bed. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. not, that's then, neat. Yeah, and then we bought some like um, 10, nice. 10 by 10 square, um, what was it, cedar? I think it was cedar. I might be wrong on the wood um, from a farm supply store, and they were really inexpensive, and we had a friend that had a mill and cut pieces, so I've got a couple of um, raised beds made out of that. Oh, wow. I in the soil. Hmm. Hello. Hello, welcome in everyone. Um, Thank you for coming. We all appreciate it. We're doing oh, we're doing the weird container growing this year with Gale Southern Living, and I've got two is two uh, bathtubs out there that we've been using for years. I added a bathroom sink this year. My, <laughs> husband, my, husband, my husband scraps, so we've got a the barrel that goes inside the dryers. That's going to be a raised bed, and it's deep, so I can plant potatoes. Oh, that's in. awesome. That's awesome. And, and I've got um, rims, tire rims, that we're going to be filling in, too. So we're nice. going to have lots of places oh, to my no. oh, I, I'm probably wrong on that, Gail, but <laughs> I'm the type of wood. She said she'd be allergic to those. But cedar, they say, is a long-lasting wood from my research. Cedar is good. Yeah, uh, they actually recommend cedar. Yes, but you need to you need to uh, paint the inside of it with some kind of sealer because you don't want it to. It still it will rot its wood, but like it, a food grade uh, like a food grade sealer, right? Linseed oil or something. So. Um, the little house on the prairie reunion was over the weekend. I'm sorry I missed it. <laughs> all, all, the, all the characters from the TV show. <laughs> yeah, my goodness, I follow Melissa Gilbert on Instagram, and I absolutely love. I've loved her since she was, you know, Aww. little. And she hasn't changed any. She's just older, you know. <laughs> yeah, I stopped following her. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't I couldn't handle all the political stuff that was coming out out of one me. of my daughters was Nellie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's I, she's better, she's better now. She's old she's uh twenty twenty two now, so oh okay. She's better now. But yeah, <laughs> she was the one that was all all innocent and then turn around and pinch someone or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does anybody oh. have any videos coming out? Any what? Good any, what? any videos scheduled coming up or any uh, more? Yeah, I need to do. Happening? I'm doing um, Heather's collaboration and this week it's Easter. So I'm looking forward to sharing mm -hmm. my two drinks. Um, oh, for that. Uh, last I week I was supposed good. to do it, but just, I really ran out of time last week trying to get my stuff done before we left. I've got a and, list of videos I need to make. I know. <laughs> I, that's what I need to do. I need to sit um, down and make a list of what I want to make, like for yeah. videos. I was doing that. Well, I wanted to do. Yeah, the, I got to do um, some more canning. I've got uh, the recycled garden containers, the weird container growing coming out. Um, I've got some old garden pictures coming out. I've got. Uh, one of my freezer cleanouts is actually coming out today. Oh, okay. And of course, you know, y'all know my thrifty fun is on Tuesdays now, so it should be dropping. I still got to do Thursday and Friday 
of next week <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. I can't keep up. I'm ahead, but I'm not that far ahead. Welcome uh, in sifting some soil and more. We well, got thank another you. family farm in the house. Oh, welcome in, welcome well, in. Hey, Butler family welcome farm. In. Oh, on the videos. I tried last year when I first started my channel, that was my goal was to have videos scheduled ahead. And then I ended up falling on the cement pad where my chicken coop is. Ow. And it really hurt my um, shoulder. So I couldn't do oh, anything well. for a while. So it was really oh. hard to make videos. Yeah. And so I got behind and I haven't caught up since. <laughs> It's hard. it's hard. I mean, it's hard to find the time to just do strictly filming with no interruptions. You know, I have my student here and quite honestly, some there's days when after I get home, I don't feel like doing anything. Right. Oh, I bet you're beat. I'm oh, tired. I, I do. Today she's today. out sick and I'm just tired from the weekend. And I, my husband goes, I thought you would have been in your garden. I said, yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my family. Welcome in. Y'all, everybody's man, coming man. in. Yeah, hey, that's man. awesome. Happy Monday. I don't care if you're just sitting there reading a book. Turn the turn the camera on and talk to the people when you don't feel like doing anything else. Just talk to them about whatever comes across your mind. Make a video. It can be short, you know, two or three minutes. Put it out. You don't know what they're going to want to be watching. You exactly. never know. Yeah. Exactly. They're there to watch you. They're there to watch you. So, and it's okay to have a day off. It really is. It's okay yeah. to have a day off. Yeah. This is why I, I, I give myself that grace. <laughs> well, it, that's why I do videos ahead because if I get down and I can't do a video, I'm okay. Cause there's something there. And yeah. I, I try to keep a couple of them held back just as a filler in case something does happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I used to do hey, that. Thanks, I Suburban really Hilly. Have a blessed day. This I, dog. I get in my head and I'm like, oh, everybody's done that before. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter though, it Heather. Do it. I do, that's, what, mean, that's why I quit. Because you I'm like, may everybody's do done something it. completely different than, say, the way that I did it. And it's maybe me, a right. new technique. And I, and I know exactly. that, but I still get in my own head. Hey, Myron, it's it's head, your head. Head. <laughs> like I always push everybody else, do it, do it. It's your voice. Like, you know, people will watch your videos that well, people will watch. You know. They, yes, they will. They will see you. They will see how you talk and they'll listen to you and people pick who they like. It's just that yeah. simple. Not only that, but everybody does the same thing different. Yep. That exactly. You may yeah. have a different twist than somebody else, or you may have a better tip. Than yeah. somebody else, so yeah. don't. Or you might have a tip that they miss. Thing. Yeah, you I think have a tip I was that somebody forgot to mention. The other day, that like all four of us could do the same exact video on the same, like making the same tea or something, but we're all gonna do it different. We're all right. gonna talk different. Whatever. Exactly. Well, exactly. It's, yeah. I gotta tell Heather. It was so funny. I did a video on making homemade pot pies, which I know has been done by bigger channels than me. And it still did really well out there because I do things differently that other people do. The funny thing is my mom, my mom had to call and tell me that my, they go up on YouTube and my mom goes, Oh, those things look really neat. Let's see what this person is doing. They turn it on, not knowing it's my channel. And my dad's like, oh, it's Wheezy. That's what my dad okay, I just said. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're what they like the video and they didn't even know. And they didn't that's realize really it was me. And yeah. of course, my mom had to tell me and give me some tips on how I should do things. I'm like, yeah, well, you yeah. know, it was my first time. Why are you shaking so bad for? What's the matter? Uh oh. Yeah, Taper Chat, Kevin just said, many creators create similar sim, uh, similar videos, but for somebody learning, we never know who might strike strike the right chord, even right. though we've right. heard it similar things many, many times. It's absolutely yeah. the truth. And right. look, there is no way we're not going to copy 
have something out there that is similar to another channel. There's just no way. So don't be afraid to do it. And if somebody comes back and says, oh, you copied my work. Well, no, I didn't because I do it my way. Yep. Yeah. Well, when I do my cooking videos and stuff, I, I try to do, or you could use this or you could do that. You know, like I do, you make it your own. Make yeah. it your own. Yeah, so people because that's the way make it, it, yeah, make it your own. That's yeah. that's the way I cook anyway. You know, I, I grew up scratch cooking like most people my age, and you had to make do with whatever you had, so you make it your own. You know, sometimes those are the best meals is when you have little and you have to get creative, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you go well, like Go out in the yard and pick some poke salad and throw it in there if you don't have anything else green. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. For sure. Yeah. So yesterday, me and my husband went into the forest, not too far away, and we um, collected some okay. soil to add to our compost. Down. He was shaking down like Sasha um, does. That, when he, like the forest floor has like all these microorganisms and all the good fungi and all the great stuff in it. So we um, wanted to add, because we're trying to do as much as we can, little things that we're learning about making our soil healthier, you mm -hmm. know, growing whatever. Like it's always, we're all, all always learning, you know, and you have to try things out to see what works for you, you know. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. We did that and that it smells like that. so good. If yeah, my husband, thought... that that should be a cologne. I'm just saying that the forest smell. <laughs> I like it. If we had smell vision, people would be watching. I promise you. Yeah. Uh, Alfonso had a question, y'all. What's says, your question? Does anyone know how expensive the chicken coops are? I'm looking at it for a nice chicken coop for about four hundred fifty dollars or more. We use dog kennels here. Yeah. And roofs it so i couldn't tell you but i'm sure he's by the time he gets finished he's probably spent five hundred dollars or better sometimes well, people sell old sheds and stuff like that that's yeah. what i look on um facebook marketplace or something or your local i don't know if you have any local well, kind of like my husband <laughs> you know it depends on what you're looking for how many chickens do you have how big do you need it for the for you know um, I always go, my first thing, if you want a really good quality, um, find an Amish maker of a chicken coops because you can't go wrong with them. But if you don't have a lot of money, then, you know, go to Tractor Supply or Southern States and order it. In a dog house if you're only getting a couple of chickens. Yeah. It's at all. Make sure they have a roosting area. Or you can get yeah. some a bunch of two by fours and some screws yep. and some tin and plywood and put the sides up and yeah, got that too. Hey, Brampton Gardner. We, we refurbished a lot of stuff to make ours. We used chain link fences. We used the side of an outside building, some old tin and then for the top, some old tin and some more chain link fence. And then we, and then for the door, we used a, like an old camper door and it works. And then yeah. put up some two by fours for them to roost on. And then I bought some, uh, nesting boxes, but before I bought the nesting boxes, we used you know the corner uh, feed tubs that they have for horses. We mm -hmm. used them and bolted them up on uh, boards, and they work fine. They love it. They still yeah. they still nest yeah. in it. You yeah. you make do with what you have if you don't have the funds. I see people you use barter fire. and trade. You can always barter and trade. We've done a lot of that to get what we have. I yeah. see people use old tires and fill uh, put holes in the bottom of it so the water drain out. Fill it with hay and they'll lay their eggs in that. Yeah, in exactly. wall. yeah, you can take pallets and pull the pallet boards off and use the boards for siding. Yeah, you know, you there's a lot of things out there. Go search YouTube. There's a lot of people who use what yeah. they have. Yeah, we actually put in DIY chicken coops. And we actually use my them. DIY yeah. chicken coops. Our first and coop that here, up to our first coop here was actually made out of skids. Uh, I think they were yeah. 10, uh, four skids. And those things were like Fort Knox by the time we got it built. Yeah. Nothing was going to penetrate it. Yeah. And I think we were paying like $20 a panel so that it was relatively cheap. Oh, happy birthday. Whose birthday? Happy birthday. Who's birthday. Yeah, whose birthday? I don't know. 
birthday. Joe, whose birthday? We can sing for you if you want to hear us sing. Oh, you don't want to hear me sing. Oh, Homer has the voice, lady. She can sing. Yeah, she might. I, I, she might I, strike. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't know whose birthday, but I just see we're Grow Big TV. So happy birthday! Yeah, exactly. Well, happy we'll birthday! Happy birthday! Well, happy, <laughs> happy birthday! Well, happy yeah, birthday yeah. Whoever it is. I, I don't know if we really helped Alfonso on his chicken coop dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you but it again a chicken coop for four hundred, five hundred dollars somewhere, a light offline. If you don't need yeah, one, sometimes you know. people just don't want that Craigslist. Anymore. Craigslist is another oh, one that you can go to. Insulated. Hey, Troy Sutton says Jan can sing Happy Birthday. Well, so Alfonso, I'll be honest with you. Um, the one that I have is Amish made. My neighbor gave it to me because she didn't need it, and it is very well insulated and. It's predator proof. And I like the one side door, like during the summertime, you'll be able to open, I'll be able to open that side door all night long because it has a very sturdy metal, like screen door in a sense. Let me just say that there, that locks. So I'll be able to keep that open during the summertime. Yeah. So you can, you can always get some pallets and insulate them. Yeah. yeah they don't need too much. They don't need just heat. Yeah, just, just remember, really chickens have good. feathers. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they have the feathers. Mm -hmm. You know, so you really don't have to do worry too much with the insulating. No. Yeah, just, my chickens, they, they just have two, really side, they have two side walls and the rest of it's open with fence. And yeah. I've had no issues with my chicken. None. Yeah. Yeah. Whatsoever. Because at nighttime, they'll all huddle together up on the roost and they're good to go. Yeah, they could. Yeah, we have to understand he's still living with all the snow up there in Colorado. So snow also inflates. Raise it a little bit higher off the ground, maybe. Like yeah, because he rises. If you put the roost up higher, they'll be fine and out of the wind. Right. Mm -hmm. Bye, Rush Bye Russian Wind Mountain. Thank, thank you, Luke, for coming. Uh, thank you, Luke, for coming in. All right. These Don't Garden Adventures, she's still here. Kind of. Hey, Miss D. <laughs> I know, like, when you're first time back to owner, you want to know everything and do everything. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I built, so we bought a shed, a new shed, because at the time, three years ago, wood was, y'all know, wood was so expensive. Yeah. Oh, my and God. So it, was, it was cheaper to buy the shed already made. Which, yeah, I bet. It, like, it used to be building your own was sturdier and better. Well, mm -hmm. we didn't have an option. So I ended up building the nest boxes outside of the shed. So it didn't take space up in the shed. And then I built kind of like a screen door on one side because mm -hmm. it's got, like, double doors on the front. So that way I can mm -hmm. open a door in the summertime to let – it's got windows in it, but – Yeah, they got to have ventilation. Yeah, and we yeah. put vents. We put vents in up on the top and stuff. So, and I made a little hatch door, and nice work. I have to paint it this do year. So, do you still have it, Heather? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, you, you can go on floor. You can go on Pinterest, and there's one where somebody took a toilet seat and made the door, the little hatch door, and the toilet <laughs> seat. That's funny. That I like funny. to get one of those solar do door things that goes up with uh, the solar. I think that'd be cool. It would. Yeah. It would. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I have to paint it. So I'll probably end up doing a video because I got to get it painted. Yeah. It's uh, pre-treated. But um, so I was thinking of doing like an old barn red. And oh. then like the trim and like a... Um, like a dark wood color. Mm -hmm. and oh, then that would be pretty. Like a big sunflower on the back of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you know nice you got to do a video. Yeah. <laughs> you know you got to do a video. Do a live, that'd probably take like, that'd take mm -hmm. long. <laughs> <This would be laughs> <first. laughs> do y'all ever sit down and think out things, sit down at night and just go, I've got all these ideas in my head, rolling through my head of what I can do. Write them down in a book.
I do. You know, oh. When you don't know what to do, yes. you can pull one of those. I have so many lists. I, I do a lot of cooking videos, I've noticed. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I do too. I spend the majority of my days are spent in the kitchen. My, mine too. I'm trying and I, to like divide mine between cooking. Where did uh, our, our host disappeared? Where'd she go? I don't know. She's still Ooh. here because we're all connected. Huh. Yeah, she's still here. Maybe she just has to pop back up. But I'm trying to do like a little crafting, a little cooking, a little garden. Yeah. Just a little bit of everything. Yeah. Diversify. Yeah. yeah. So everybody's kind of got something that they might enjoy or not. <laughs> You'll see. We just keep trying. And that's why, I, you know, I keep pushing these open collaborations. Mm hmm. Open collaborations are a great way for everybody to, to get out there in other communities. Um, you know, like my declutter challenge, every household in America has a cluttered drawer in their house somewhere that they can you declutter. Know. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Troy Sutton has a question. Mm -hmm. I have seeds in my fingers. How deep do I plant the cabbage seeds? Sorry to ask, but I don't want to leave the chat to look up. Um, um, I would just put them in there and cover them. I, I don't think you need to put them too deep. Usually, yeah, probably as deep as big as big as the seed is is how far down you'll go. Yeah, and cabbage seeds are pretty small, so you could actually probably sprinkle them on top of the ground and just cover them with a little like layer, thin layer of soil. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of, I think, the general rule for seeds. So like, yeah. just go as deep as like, say, if you have a giant pumpkin seed, you'll go that deep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most packers will tell you, like, you know, how pray, about pray for the cabbage. <laughs> it's kind of like lettuce. You know, I just, I just kind of broadcast the lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are very, very tiny little seeds. Yeah. yeah. And so. Uh, I think a lot of times some people may uh, bury seeds too deep. So that's why sometimes they won't come up. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we've all done that. Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, it's funny. I like, I, I like watching Teresa with um, Old Ways Gardening because she's got a little tool and that she measures how deep to Oh, put yeah, I've seen seeds. those. Those are kind of yeah. cool. Welcome hey, in. Hey, welcome to Gardening. Welcome in. Hello. And Hello, Jesse Jamie. Miller unboxings. I didn't see you while ago. Country Jamie living. Country living says hello. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Welcome in. <laughs> hey, Jamie. What happened? Oh, there she welcome is. Welcome to your live, Jamie. I forgot to, hey, I was down there. I forgot to add myself back to the stream. <laughs> we were <laughs> sorry, y'all. <laughs> Oh, Jeez. good job, Troy. That didn't take long. See? Are those oh, your my tomatoes? goodness. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, there's your tomatoes. Your yeah. tomatoes are beautiful. I hey, had the. Did y'all know that you're supposed to lay your tomatoes flat? Yes. And not plant, plant the dirt over the whole stem, just leaving the leaves out. It gives them more roots for them to produce. I have a get tomato leggy tomatoes is what you do with yes. them. In my house that I kept from last Bring my Italian time. basil. <laughs> that looks good too. I love some basil. I got to pluck the tomato <laughs> uh, branches my cabbage off and start them. Um, I wonder if I There's can all my cabbage that I started from seed. There's some more tomatoes. What plant. did you use in your containers for to start your seeds? Uh seed starting mix. I can't remember the brand. But uh, I first, like I was telling you earlier, that I, 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 I used to with it this year. But I don't remember what this was. Oh, it yeah. was oh, uh, right. some you kind did. of regular flower bed or flower bed stuff. It was all purpose, just regular potting mix. And these actually came up. I was surprised. But you can see this here, the cocoa core. You see that? You need to water them. I need to water yeah. them again, but they're they're pretty big. I got some out there that are like two and a half foot tall in the living room. We're getting ready to experiment and put them in the ground. <laughs> that tomato plant I just what showed you guys from last fall. That was hey, Wanda. Yeah, I got a 
take some of the branches off and make uh, new starts for it. Hey, Wanda well, Henry. I, I really have Hello, had bad luck in. this year with my seeds. I, I've been gardening so many years and I can't get over the lack of germination out of the seeds I received and purchased from some now, did you top of the line. Now, did you all of them or sprout any of them? No. Well, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell y'all off the front end when Kavogo hit, they did something to the bag soil and the seeds. Amen. Let me tell yes, you. I mean, it's, people are have coated them or something. The government they, don't want to plant them. They don't. Nope. I've used almost all my seeds that I ordered. Okay, I have to say that hardly so, any of them have um, germinated. There was a certain uh, type of cheese that I have always enjoyed eating my whole life. And I'm not going to say it because I don't want any problems. And thank you for coming in. It's hard to with the tea. Thank you and for coming. So, I was watching last night a certain channel and I've been telling my husband over the last few years, it doesn't taste the same. And then it would get moldy, like quick. Really? Like, yeah. With, within a few days, not even a week. And I'm like, why? It just doesn't taste right. They changed their um, way that they make Hi, it, and they put it, in it. Thank you for coming, P and J. So the rennet used to be animal Thank rennet. Have a great day. Yeah, not no more. Thank you. Using vegetarian yeah. rennet and adding in some other things to that vegetarian rennet. Yeah, I think right. I know the welcome in. Yeah. So do your research on your cheeses yep. and look up the ingredients you just want yep. to look. Look. Yeah, if you can find a good source for rennet, you need to get it. I haven't made any cheese yet, and I actually missed the lady at the last Azure Standard drop. She had brought extra rennet, and I didn't see the message, or I would have grabbed some that day. She was giving it away, and it was oh, wow. organic. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but they're they're messing with everything. If y'all go to my Telegram channel, you will be shocked like at some of the things I put you. out. You have um, the But yeah, um, I I wasn't I already kind of like knew something was wrong because like I said, mm -hmm. it tasted weird. And yeah, make your own or get a friend that will make their own and share with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm going to change. Um, I'm going to go. I have a great nursery nearby. So I'm going to go down and get some frog or fox or whatever it is, the soil. And I'm going to start because all my stuff out in my garden, all the yeah. all the soil that I amended over the fall and I added to and and all that, that stuff is all germinating that I yeah. did. This stuff oh, in wow. here. Yeah, I just started. And I pulled, I told Gail, um, this is my first year too using heat mats. I took everything off and I'm going back to the old way that I did things. I have one of those stand up greenhouses that I bought years ago. I took and I put everything in the little greenhouse and going to see what happens. I'm just yeah. like, I'm done. Yeah. All right. But I have a whole bunch of seeds in my hutch drawer. I should go get them and see how bad they've sprouted by now. <laughs> yeah, you can always test your seed. You know, you get the paper towel and you wet it down, put it in a bag. Test your seed to see if they're going to germinate. Label it. Label yeah. it. <laughs> label, label, label. Exactly. Label it. And whatever so, you whatever you germinate and grow this year, please save your own seeds. Don't rely on trying to yes, order seeds yes. and well, stuff. Do you, know, don't do it. you don't know how. Look it up. Ask any channel that grows plants if they know. I'm just okay. waiting for the for the government to decide that they are not going to allow us to mail seeds because it's happening in other places. Look at that! Look at that. You got sprouts. Those are peas. Get them in a planter. <laughs> They're That's good. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. They need fed. Those are, Those are my peas. And these peas are a couple of years old. The ones I used to sell in my shop. And this is how I'm getting those to germinate is here. Yeah. yeah. Tina said peas, y'all. <laughs> 
What's that mean? mean? I just can't mean? make, I'm just joking around. Oh, okay. What did I say it wrong? Because you know, no, you said know. peas, and I'm like peas. <laughs> so I'm yeah. taking out all these and fix out. I got seed out there that are 12 years old. I don't know if it's going to germinate or not. I didn't even bother to try. I stuck them in the dirt and said, if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> and look at these. I'm going to just show you all my seeds we now. Need to from us again. Look at this. That's good. That's 60%. Those, mm -hmm. Those are seeds. Yeah. Most did, do you know what well. I did? This? I was. Where did she go again? She's gone. She's hiding. <laughs> It's, it's, it's she's playing hide and seek with us. Yeah. yeah. So, for the first time yesterday, I don't like beets. Like I don't like beets. I remember as a kid being forced to eat beets. Who who does that, right? Well, yesterday at our um, after church, in, in the Amish church, after they always have a noon meal, and it's always the same thing when they have church, and it, and they had pickled beets. I tried a pickled beet for the first time yesterday. Yeah. And I said, oh, my gosh, I have been missing out on these. Um, so Tina's going to grow pickle and pickle beets this year. Not, you know, pickle. My husband won't eat beets, but I love them. One well, thing pickle them. Eat. He may like them. They're very good. But you know what? He didn't like tomatoes when he met me. There was a few foods that he didn't he wouldn't eat. And when he met me, he started eating them because I was putting them on the table and it was looking Look pretty that. tasty. Baby. That's pretty good. Yep. Keep talking. I'm just gonna show. Don't don't stop. I just well, want to show you that. The one of those, um, pill um, vitamin uh, things that you can make your own powdered vitamins. Yeah. And, um, so saving like the beet tops and the carrot tops and like all that kind of stuff and dry, letting them dry out so, and powdering them and and having your own vitamins is what I want to do. The, the one thing I want to do, Heather, um, is I want to take some of that beet juice, right? Juice it's the, called the germination. And then make, uh, it's a germination. Make, uh, gummies. Because right. the beet, beet gummies, because they're yeah. good for... I, I got one. I got one. So that one's a 90%. Yeah. And it, these are cucumber seeds. I've only had one germinated... Last week, none had germinated, not one. So I sprayed it down really good. And well, maybe it'll take some of them a little bit longer. So take the one out, yeah. plant it, and yep. leave the other Why? ones for a little bit. Handicap Traveler has a question Do any of you know the process called when you put your seeds in a wet paper towel and put them in the refrigerator? It's called stratification. Yep. Stratification. You want to stratify and I think yeah. I probably should have done that with my. Um, some of the herbal Flowers. seeds, like lavender and stuff, are um, they they do better when you all my seed go in the in the freezer or the refrigerator anyway. Oh. Uh, I've been doing because but, I live in the south and it's humid here, so if I put them in the yes near, they're protected. Uh, but so they're all stratified, whatever. And I've never had a lot of problems with my seed. Okay, so you got a couple of them there. These are my Peter Pan squash. I call them patty. They're, patty they're really pan. small, round little squash. They're really good. Patty oh, pan. Really good. good. Are you excited? Look at that. Yeah. Yay. Because <laughs> I know you were struggling there with them coming up. I was stressing because that's a lot of money. You buy seeds and you buy the stuff and... I've never had a problem with the Jiffy Mix seed starter or like Mar Miracle Grow seed starter. And this year it's for you know what. Yeah, yeah that's what I found out the, over the last couple of years. So this year I bought peat moss. And so I'm going to be, you know, doing my own peat moss perlite and some organic um, well, flow release fertilizer. Yeah. Troy Sutton says, you seed vitamin made me think of I lo love Lucy. Vita Vita Vegemin. <laughs> By the beat of Benjamin. All right, ladies. Now, who would have thought? Now, listen to this. So, I'm going to show you. Who would have thought? These are all cherry, mini cherry tomato seeds. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my You're goodness. You're going to have a bumper crop. You're going. You're going to be going. I'm doing a farmer's market. So, I'll be able to, right be able to take here. these to the farmer's market and sell. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, that's that's you missed, the, the, I, you missed the bite of beta met Benjamin, is what you missed. <laughs> do you still do you have a lot of parties? <laughs> huh? do, you still, do you still have your little store? I do, do you, it once a month out of my house. Okay. So this weekend it is pickup weekend. So Saturday they will come and, and pick up and I'll be back up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania to pick up my goods. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. So um, that's great. Thank you for I, letting me show you all that. I think it's really amazing to be seen like in on all the different channels and watching chat and hearing different people talk and type and realizing that every, oh, she lost connection, Jamie. Um, just oh, Jamie. seeing that more and more people are growing their own food growing their own groceries yeah we should be growing gardens and not yards hey mark in place Bar boutique welcome in yeah well and i look at like different like i've got some pretty good sized gardens which i don't yeah. really want to add on to <laughs> but if i have to i look around and i see okay well this area and this area like I can totally just dig that up and grow in it if I need. Well, my to. husband has to mow our yard, and we have an acre and a half. You know what he said this year? It's going to be a garden. <laughs> He's so tired of mowing. I told him that last year because our lawnmower kept our riding lawnmower kept breaking down. Just go and get some goats. New one. Oh, well, this right. one goats or sheep. Which one do you want? <laughs> Good job. Goats. Goats yeah. are fun, but then if you get sheep, you can milk them. And get little people. If you have children or nieces, nephews, grandchildren, neighbor kids, if it's okay with the neighbor, just hey, show them some stuff. Show yeah. them how to grow yeah. some things. And oh, when my food. grandchildren lived with me, it was a my oh I, I if I can find the picture to show her off. My granddaughter, she loved being out in the garden. Her job was you need to collect the eggs. And I would watch her from up here because she was old enough to be doing stuff like that. She right. collected the eggs and she loved going in the garden and oh, oh, no. digging up her stuff. <laughs> yeah, my, my, grand, my grandsons were all, my oldest three, were all out in the garden with Nanny. And they would water the plants and they would get out there and they'd plant the little seeds and I'd watch them grow and they were just enthralled. Yeah, yeah. My, my grandkids... Every time I have them, I have them once or twice every week. And they're like, what are we doing? And I'm always teaching them different stuff and explaining to them, like, why okay. you don't do this or why you do do that. And, you know, right. whatever I can. Feed them two of my, my two middle grandsons are coming up. That's soon. Right. I don't know exactly when. But when they do, I tell my daughters, I said, the cell phones go off during the day and so does the TV. I said, they can have their cell phone at night. I said, because this is a working farm and they're going to be working. And my one of them wants to learn how to can. So I'm excited about that. Oh, so we'll be doing canning videos with him. That's awesome. And they're both going to be out there working with the chickens, the ducks, the turkeys, and the garden. Yeah, I have a, well, one of my former students and a couple of my customers I literally they they're like can you teach me and i'm like yeah so i was thinking maybe setting something up here you know in my driveway teaching them how to can right charging yeah. just a really small fee because yeah. it's my time you got to pay for my time right right just right. Do something simple that's in season yeah. like jam everybody can yeah. jam or tomatoes first because they're the one of the easiest things and then they get yeah. to home you know, and then when you get into pressure canning, the easiest thing to can is beans, dry beans. Dry beans. I have a whole bunch of kidney beans I need to can. I hey, Tiffany, welcome in. That's Canadian Family Life. Hey, Tiffany, Hi. welcome in. She's our friend from Canada. Yes, she is. She's very, very sweet. Yes, she, she is. is. I've Everybody watched her very, very sweet. Everybody is so sweet. Yeah. Well, she's a good mom too, because she's got those kids yes, learning is. everything. Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm here, y'all. I got booted a minute ago. I don't know what happened. 
I'm oh, you it yourself. Know. How can you do that to no, yourself? My, no, no, I didn't boot myself when it said no internet connection. I didn't do it because <laughs> I'm on yeah. my phone. <laughs> you have weather up there? No, it's sunny. The wind can no, do it. I don't have, no, I don't have Wi-Fi in my house. It's my cell phone Wi-Fi. I see. I'm, yeah. I'm directly on my Wi-Fi, or not my Wi-Fi, but my data on my phone. You know, here, what I'm using. here, if a little cloud flies over, <laughs> it's my internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh. hey, you know what? That's true. That's true. That could have happened. We had a, such a hard time with internet for so long. We tried all the different companies and everything and nothing would work well. And now we have the, um, the one satellite, the popular one, what's it called? I blanked out on what it was called. Yeah, I did too. Okay. I was thinking. I, was like, I knew I who you're talking that. about. Yeah. Yeah. So my son actually ordered it I way back in the beginning when it was like, didn't cost hardly anything. Y'all make yeah. sure you're checking out all these open collaborations that are being dropped. That's, That's her. So cute. Aww. I have to go back and find my pictures. I've got some old, old pictures of my grandsons when they were real little in the garden. I love it. I need to get mine some, I bought them little watering containers so that they're yep. not, because I carry the big, the big ones you know right right <laughs> i'm like double i got double going on when i'm watering because i got Start, i do somebody said, Brandon said, is it startling every night in the summertime yeah we have to water more frequently we had and a good rain here on saturday and when i went out this morning all my little radishes they've all germinated they're just growing up nice the the onions look like they're doing good pretty thick getting pretty uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is the first year I overwintered them. All my seed that I've planted so far have come up, so I'm excited about that. Except for the ones I just planted, so we're waiting to see if the herbs come up. So where well, do you get seeds this year, ladies? It would be down there for me because I'm up in Northwest Oregon, <laughs> <laughs> the handicapped traveler. <laughs> laughing at i have to laugh what? at the mask hey Gillen farms about your weather up there jamie because she's down hey mckay welcome in that's mckay well, we okay so you ordered from johnny seeds troy i have not tried johnny seeds or are you saying hi to johnny <laughs> i've got i got survivor seeds i've got seeds from joe garden state gardener i've got seeds from everybody that has sent me seeds um and then i then i go and i i look for the organic seeds when i go to the stores i won't even touch the other seeds because i know they're not going to germinate okay thank you for coming and my husband's like why are you paying all this extra money I, because i want seeds that germinate but the the 20 cent packs of seeds the four four dollar packs of seeds the 50 cent packs of seeds or all organic seeds are just last year's stock and they usually germinate. So you, you take oh, a good chance yeah. of getting those. The ones at Dollar Tree, I, they've always germinated four for a dollar. Yeah. Now they'd be four for a dollar twenty-five. Right. Flower seeds from there. Yeah. So yeah. the Walmart seeds, uh, we get some from Dollar General, you know. Yeah. So I, I have had no problem with those whatsoever. I never have. That's I, mean, I never really paid attention to the package until this year and realized that they were organic, non-GMO seed. Well, so, you know they came out with their first GMO tomato seed, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, corn, most corn out on the market is GMO corn. Anything that is mass produced in these fields is yeah. genetically modified anyway. So you want to be growing your own food. I can't stress it enough. I saved I'm my seeds. I'm with you 100%. Um, I got a bunch of um, corn seeds, a couple different varieties of corn seeds from someone in North Carolina that's been a um, generational grower. Mm-hmm. So. One of the one of the things, like if you can't, I mean, 
I know that what my garden isn't going to give, I mean, I need to grow a bigger garden if I'm going to be able to want to do what to fulfill my pantry the way that I need, but yeah. find resources, you know, go to your local farmers, find, see if you have any produce auctions anywhere. If you live around the Amish or Mennonite communities, you can get really great deals. You can buy plants from the Amish. I know I do. They're usually really, really inex expensive. Also, I know um, two auctions. There's a couple of auctions, produce auctions that I can go to as well. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. And I live in the country and there's a lot of. Um, You're in Oregon, people. right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm out in the country where everybody has like at least 10 acres of land or more. And not very many of them do much gardening. Have you searched for a Mennonite community around there, Heather? Because um, I know there's I some think, up in Oregon. I think we do, but they're like a couple hours away. Oh, okay. And but they did start a um, a food hub mm -hmm. um, about an hour from me. Um, not the Mennonites, but um, it's a bunch of um, growers that are more um, coastal region that have come together and they've opened a store in a building. And they sell, you know, their stuff, their whatever they grow. So that's kind of nice. I have that option. But absolutely. Thank you, thank absolutely. you for coming, Jan. Where are you at, Grandpa Gardner? What market are you? Are you in Pennsylvania or uh, Indiana, Ohio? Yeah. Well, I'm down in I'm down in Tennessee. You got them down there. Yeah, we got them everywhere down here. They're all over. And I love it because we've mm. actually, we, we've got one community that we go to, but we know that there's several other communities in the mm -hmm. area and Mennonite communities nearby that we could go shop if we need to. Yeah. Right. You know, and right. network, network with your neighbors, you know, because if we get to the point where there's no cash and we go cashless, we're going to have to have a way to survive. And I, I, you know, this is biblical and I know it's a hard subject to face, but network with your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to need to be able to, to barter and trade. Yeah. You know how I'm going to network with some of my neighbors right around me because I'm going to take their land and I'm going to grow food on it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to feed my cows too. <laughs> I was waiting for Heather to say, I'm going to go raid their garden at nighttime. <laughs> Hey, thanks, yeah. Rebecca. We There's appreciate only, you. Thanks for dropping in. Be blessed today. There isn't any major like gardening in my specific area. Like just yes, some thank you, Rebecca, for helping helping everyone out. Well, it's like a friend of ours has a about 10 acres of land. And so every year he allows his neighbor that has cattle across the road to grow hay there. Yeah. And he comes and he hays it. And so they get milk and cheese and butter and meat and yes. you know it's a trade-off well, yeah we do sometimes yeah. we do some bartering with some of our meat we usually sell about four um beef a year that's good yeah so we have 13, good, 13 cows most of them are dexter i didn't Primer even know you had cows heather they're, they're smaller um breed cows i think those are cute they are. How can you them. eat them? No, I'm just kidding. Well, I don't eat them. Cute. Well, they they're have cute. names. They're so smart. Like they know their names. If I call their name, they come a running. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. like little dogs, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and you gotta stay out of the way because if they get excited, they get excited. And even though <laughs> smaller cows, they can hurt you. Like my husband. No, yeah. My husband, right after the whatever you call the disease thing. Mad cow disease? No, the um, human one that we had. Oh, the, the Rona? Cancer. Yeah, the right after, right when that first happened, um, my husband was uh, changing the water in the water tank and filling it up. And our bull saw him and was excited. It was like a baby Huey moment. And he started running, dad, dad, dad. And actually knocked him down on the ground. Ouch. Oh no! He hit his head, and he had this like 
baseball. Mm. Hemotobin. That's dangerous. Yeah. And it broke his collarbone. Oh it my goodness. Scared Ow. the heck out of me. And then that was when, you know, nobody was allowed to go in the room. Every, you know, like all the rules were just crazy, bizarre. And my phone died. My cell phone died that day. Like it wouldn't work. And I was try I had to go to the mall, like out, I had my older daughter take me hours away to the mall to try to go get my phone fixed. And they're like, well, you'll have to make an appointment. And it's like, I stood in line for two hours and I was walking through the mall with this face diaper on and I'm like hyperventilating because I didn't have my phone. My husband just had this accident and he, they, they said he was at high risk of having like a, a heart attack or a stroke because mm -hmm. of the, the trauma. He ended up not. And he ended up yeah. healing and everything. But um, I was just like, all the stuff going on all at once. I was like, <laughs> trying to get through the mall. And oh my gosh, it was just, it was a thing. We survived. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It was, it was, it was, I will never downplay it. Well, because I know it was real, you know, the whole Rona thing, but. I was opened. I was open. My business was open. I just remember that one time um, driving from Virginia into Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania had one of those signs up and they were trying to prevent you from crossing state lines. Oh, wow. And so I, I literally weekly, I used to have to carry my business papers with me in case, you know, a uh, highway patrol or somebody oh, wow. decided to pull me over. And I just, I just remember sitting there going, what country do I live in right now that I have to be carrying my papers to prove, yeah. you know, I was, um, so yeah, I have a different outtake on a lot of that and I won't get into that, but I know people who have lost loved ones from it and it was very sad what happened. Hey, Missy's channel. Welcome in. And, uh, Smoky hey. Mountain Bless Joy says they are saying storms are headed towards West Tennessee. I have Ryan Hall, y'all, open on another window. Yeah, we're we're supposed to be getting some bad storms today. Later oh, on. Today. Oh wow, yeah. Y'all, thank you, Tiffany, for coming over. Sunday, Sunday is Easter, and it's also mine and my husband's hubby's anniversary. Happy Sunday. anniversary! Happy anniversary. Yes. Happy anniversary! How many years, Susan? Twenty-three. Congratulations. Woo, woo. That's awesome. We, we decided we're not going to divorce. We're just going to stick it out because there's no sense of divorce. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, try, why do it all over again? I'm just joking. We're just, you know, but yeah. there, it's so easy to, to go run down and get a divorce these days. <laughs> Crazy sister, though. We're in it for the long, long haul. There he is. He's coming out of the covers. Yeah, this June, uh, me and my husband will be 26 years. Congratulations. Oh, congrats. We will be And I'm, I survived still. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 35 in September. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I just think back, you know, if I had... If I had stayed in my first marriage, which I didn't, Congratulations, because it, it would have been 42, one, 41 or 42 years this year. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't think I could have put up with him that long. I probably would have killed him. <laughs> he was awful. Yeah. yeah. He was abusive. So he was awful. Right. Right. Yeah. But God, God provided me with a godly husband. And I'm so thankful for that. And it really, it really does make a difference. And I mean, cause I was married half my marriage before I started walking with the Lord, my husband and I, and the remaining half has been with the Lord. And it really has done a world of good for us both in our marriage. It's, it has been truly a blessing, you know? So. Yeah. Rob's allotment gardening says they've been married 45 years. I See, know. those are blessings. When we, when we were young and we didn't think about, you know, we, we were going to get married and we never thought about what it meant or anything. We're just excited about getting married and to come that far along 45 years later and you're still together. 
that's a blessing. So I told I realize I, it. I yeah. said, when I met him, I said, I don't want to play games. And eventually I want to get married. I don't expect you to marry me. I only want you to marry me if you're straightforward. I don't want to play games. Like, how serious. That's like, awesome, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Happy I'm birthday sure. to your mom, Smoky Mountain Blessed. Yes, happy birthday, mom. Joy's got a sweet mom. And then Sunday is their friend Spaceman's birthday. And then their birthday after the Tuesday after Easter. Yep. Happy birthday to y'all too. <laughs> My husband and I were together for nine months before we got married. That's okay. <laughs> we were we were actually together a little over a year before we got married. Yeah. My husband and I were together June of 88 and got married in September of 89. What day? What day what? Of the June. Um, the 25th, I believe. Really? My anniversary is the 26th. Oh, how funny. It's coming up. It's going to be here soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I have a, a daughter that was born on the 24th of June. Oh, so Nice. June's busy for us. My husband's birthday, Father's Day, our daughter's birthday, and our anniversary. April's okay. busy, too, because I've got... Um, me, um, my oldest son, what else? Mother, when's Mother's Day this year? May. May? Always in May. It's yep. the second, second Sunday in May. Okay. Cause it kind of fluctuates a little bit. Yeah. Cause my, my husband's mother Easter was born May 9th and it always was right around her birthday. Yeah. It's actually May 12th and we're going back up to my father-in-law's. The 11th. Yeah. So okay. your prayers, I don't know you for all you people who prayed for us on Saturday for the visit for safe travels, everything worked wonderfully. It was such a um, blessing with my father-in-law on Saturday. Well, that's good. I'm so glad. So, well, I think I've got to go get some things done. I have to tell you, Heather, you remind me of my best friend's mother. Your whole face, everything. Yeah. If I had a picture of her, you'd probably get blown away. But like, you're like the younger version of Eileen. Is <laughs> that weird? Well, Tina, you every, every, remind every time I look at you, I feel like I'm talking to Eileen. <laughs> well, Tina, you remind you me of my dad. Yourself. Oh. You remind what? me of my dad's sisters. Your face and your smile and everything reminds me of my dad's side of the family. Oh, thanks. I hope. <laughs> well, I'll have to pull some pictures and show you because yeah. you'll be shocked. You'll be like, what? <laughs> yeah. And I, I should do that with Heather. I, I mean, she's on Facebook, but I don't know. She's, you know, 80 years old now. So it's not like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, younger, I'm actually got a younger version. You know what I mean? Like I just I look at you. I would be like, "Thanks, Tina." Um, but she's 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 a sweet lady. I've actually got a picture of my grandmother and my granddad sitting in a rocking chair, and she always wore her hair up in a bun. And of course, I wear mine up in a bun a lot. Um, yeah. And your face and her face are almost identical. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, I think everybody's going to probably roll out of here. I've um, it is after five o'clock here. Oh, wow. What's dinner for everybody tonight? I've got chicken. I'm going to go do. I've got some uh, more spring rolls that I need to make. Chicken spring rolls. Yummy. Hamburger something, and I pulled out some uh, purple hull peas and some turnip greens out of the canning pantry. That Ooh. sounds good. I'm going to do a lemon pepper chicken. Oh, I like and that. And maybe if I. My, I what I really hate doing is making a salad, but because yeah. I prepped it ahead last week, all the lettuce is washed and everything, so it will make making it a lot easier. So I think it's just some chicken good. and salad, Duck, and maybe some peas, chicken breast, and some mashed potatoes. That actually sounds really good. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to stay away from some things right now. Well, I might do my, I may make Salisbury steak kind of thing. My husband loves Salisbury steaks. 
Yeah. Cause I like the gravy. I like to make gravy and we yeah. don't get to eat it a lot. So yeah. And it's kind of, it's kind of cold outside. So I'm thinking that might yeah, be, be a nice little meal for several days now, like off and on. So Jamie's well, Jack. <laughs> Jamie, I hope that you're feeling better. It, thank you for having us again. We really appreciate it. I'm glad that I could make it this week. Yeah, thank I'm, everybody, glad you could too. I'm glad you could too. For some reason, my internet's going in and out, y'all. So I'm glad yeah. you're still there that it didn't boot you guys out. That's the main reason no, I do. Uh -uh. No. Well, I'm so glad you were there. there. No, you can't go yet because we're at 155. No, no, no. Can't go for no 20 minutes. That'll give you your full two hours. Oh, okay. No. Thank then you. How about if I, I stay there? there so with me if I, I go leave there. again, it's because we can do that. Stay Gina. there. <laughs> stay Take there. Her to the kitchen. Well, everybody oh, have please. a wonderful week. You too, yeah. Heather. I bet we'll chat later. Yeah, we'll see you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we'll run across each other in the YouTube streets. Yep. Yeah, we will. Be Don't blessed, forget Heather. It. Have a great Don't forget. Don't forget. That okay. Super Bye. Chat and Heather's going to be on my live Wednesday, folks. Y'all come on over. We'll do. Yes. I'll, I'll be there. there. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, quite so, welcome. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Much appreciated. <laughs> Donnie's <laughs> doing a uh, Easter painting tonight on his Ooh. live. So y'all go check out Donnie's channel. He's also working on his watch hours. Who's Donnie? Oh, okay. Or Donnie. Yeah, go check out Story. Smooth Mountain Blast tonight. Okay. Yes. Storyteller right. Donnie. Yeah, Everybody. these are the things that we just, I just drop your link. Know. Or drop his link if you can, Joy. Yeah, drop drop his link, Joy, for the channel, Storyteller Donnie. Whoa. Oh, it's on your live? Well, drop your link. It's on Smoky Mountain Blessed. So. Yeah. Nice couple. He's uh, both of them are ministers, so it's okay. really nice to. Yes. Yeah. To don't have each other. Please make sure you check each other out. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait yeah. to get out in the garden next week and start really planting. Our last frost oh, date know, is April right? the tenth. That's so. awesome. Ours is May, May the tenth. But I want. I need to go get some more dirt to fill in. I got. Four bags of mushroom soil out there that I need to put dump. So yeah, we oh, got a oh, I had um, you what? Oh, Troy said he enjoyed us, lady. Thank oh, you so much, Troy. Troy, be blessed. We do have fun Always. sometimes, don't we? Yeah, I, like I said, I apologize for I just haven't. No, just don't feel good. Wrong. I'm sorry but you don't. I feel wanted well. to be here. I wanted to be here for y'all. Well, appreciate when I, it. When I say something, I want I fall through whether I feel or I try to go through with it whether I feel bad or not. <laughs> well, I'm glad See, I'm like I'm the same way. Like I have to be really, really down, and my body will tell me because I do have autoimmune issues, and so yeah, we well, are, <laughs> and I know that you do too, and I have to listen. Like I, I have to listen to myself because it doesn't do me any good. If yeah, I your don't. body tells you when when it's time to mm -hmm. rest, it's time to rest. That's right. That's right. Never so. ignore, and take care of yourself. You got we got to eat right. Take care of ourselves. Well, and that's one of the things. Like I'm just, I just want to change some things. I'm gonna pull back off of beef for a little while, and start doing maybe more ground turkey and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I think I need to do the same as like, and I love my beef. Uh, that Me is where my downfall. I Me need too. to do well, more turkey. I agree. I agree well, right that. now the beef is the cheapest meat around here for is us it? organically. Mm -hmm. So, oh, uh, it's life in the Piedmont. Oh, my name's not showing up here. Maybe it's not. No, wonder why. Now there are Susans. Yeah, it's life in the Piedmont. Well, it's, show, yeah, it's showing on mine. Why is it not up on the screen? I'm wondering if it's not streaming on my channel because it lost connection. Remember? Well, it's still streaming on well, mine. It's show, it's yeah, it's still showing. You guys are connected. It's still streaming yeah. on mine. 
Let me see. Yeah, it should, yeah you guys should still be. Yeah, staying. but remember, I had to. I had to go off. I had to go off. And no, if I'm still there. Somebody that's in Tina's live. Could you please uh, comment to let her know that she's still live? If there's yeah, still there, I'm, I'm checking on my phone. So, um, McKay, there's my channel if you want to. Um, they got it up. Oh, uh, life in the peanut. Life in the peanut. Dan you. just dropped your link, so that's good. Oh, good. Thank good, you. good, 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 good. Good. Yeah, I'm working on my watch hours. Um, I'm gonna have to put Dan on as a, a as a moderator on my channel. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. I'll try to remember to do that after the live. <laughs> I, if not, when you come on my live, I'll I'll make sure I do that because yeah. We I need think I'm gonna do um. I think I'm gonna use my air fryer tonight. I love my air fryer. Oh my gosh, you and I both, Tina. Oh. I mean, it really. Do you have one, Susan? I have an air fryer and I have a Instapot, and I really like the Instapot better. Try. Oh, I like my, my air fry better than the Instapot. Isn't that funny? I like them both. <laughs> so, I, you know, I know it's been done. Hey, Victoria, maybe, maybe that's an open collab, Instapot Mills. I know it's been done, but you know what? It's getting to be, it's going to be a very busy season coming up for a lot of people. Who has time? Like, throw it in the Instapot. It'll force me to use it. Well, I like it for for beans, dry beans, because it doesn't take any time to cook them. And I like it for uh, ribs. I love cooking ribs in there and then stick them in the oven to under the broiler for a few. Uh -huh. And I love to do eggs that. with them. My sister uses that for the dry beans as well. I'm in my. I use, it, I use it for deviled eggs. Oh, they make no. they make the best deviled eggs. I do have not like deviled eggs in there. Or boiled eggs. A lot of people use it for the boiled eggs as well. I haven't tried that. I, I, ooh, that's dirty. Oh, you're in physical therapy right now, Dan. That's okay. I literally I lost my hair know. for hard boiled eggs, Susan. I can hardly stand to eat hard boiled eggs anymore. I'm getting burnt out on them myself. Yeah, we can live off of them, I think. Me and my husband. <laughs> Cause he asked me, he says, "You gonna boil some eggs this weekend?" I said, "Well, it's Easter. What do you think?" <laughs> well, I'm the only one in my house that actually eats them. All right. So, well, I make um, egg salad, and I I use it in yeah. potato salad and stuff. Yeah, I love I love egg salad, but hard boiled eggs. I, I don't, I, you know, they they do say your taste buds change as you get older. Maybe that's the case. Yeah. Because if I like it will be, then I know my taste buds are changing. Right. So I'm going to make a salad while we're here, friends. Okay. Oh, you go right ahead. Are you still streaming? Tina? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going right. to stream and make my salad. I have my lettuce already washed, which I find so important to do. Most definitely. I, I don't. There, Listen, are, there are certain things I just don't like to do because um, growing up, it was something I had to do all the time. Making salads was one of them. And I had I like to do it, it a certain way because mom liked things cut a certain way. So I, you know what I mean? Like I do it my way now. <laughs> yes. Well, ladies, I'm fixing to jump off because I've got to start my supper. It's after okay. four and I've got to go out and take care of the chickens before I start cooking. Thank you so much, Jamie, for having me on. I really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much, lady. Let me know when you got another uh, Wednesday that you're available and you can come back up on mine. You Either just one of you. Know. Well, just Susan, I'm, already booked with, I'm booked with Susan already for April 24th, I think. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. Um, yeah. And so, and Susan, we do Wednesdays and Jamie, we do Wednesdays. So yeah, you know, I put you all, all up there. Right. All right. Well, I love you both. Love you. Thank you. For be, blessed. be blessed. Thank you for coming. Much Thank appreciated. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Are you still going, Jamie? Yep. I'm still going to stream and you just go right ahead. Okay. I'm going to grab a bowl for my lettuce. 
so don't mind the noise. Not at all. You're you're in the kitchen. Why not? I know. You know what I think I'm gonna do? What? Because it's just me and my husband tonight. I'm just gonna make our own salads. My son, my son eats salad, so I'm just gonna prep them and put it in each of our bowls, and then our salads are all ready. You know? Oh, there you go. Good idea. Great idea. Yeah. Then I'm not dirtying anything up. So I don't know. My grandmother always used to go to the produce stand and the, one of the things that she did was come in and um, put everything in the kitchen and just start washing her produce up as soon as she got in and putting it in a paper towel and then put it in a Ziploc bag so it um, produce was fresh for when she needed it for her suppers. So, oh, wow. yeah. So who do we still have here? Anybody have any people may have left. Um, um, so it still says 13 in the house. McKay says, I have not done canned boiled eggs, but, um, I would, I would, do you have a canning book McKay? Um, I mean, cause I know pickled, people do pickled eggs. So those eggs are not raw, you know, do you water glass it, eggs at all, Jamie? No, I've never tried that. I see a lot of people do it. Have you done it? No, I have the stuff, but just never have done it. Well, you, we still have, I don't we need have to do it now. In there. Victoria G is still here. Rob's a lot okay. still here. Deanna's garden is oh. still here. Awesome. Yeah. There's quite a few people here. And Victoria G asked, where do you grow the ingredients for your salad? What did she say? Where do you grow the ingredients for your salad? I grow them outside, but this is actually comes from one of the Amish farms up in PA. And this is she said real above fresh. ground planters, grow bags, or straight in the grow soil? Grow bags. I'm a huge grow bag person. I love my grow bags. They're easy to manage. Um, not, not really, not if none um, weeding in the grow bags, to be honest with you. I absolutely love it. And I use five gallon bags to grow my heads of lettuce. They're perfect. Oh, that's, Just the perfect size for it. And I did this. So the salad... The salad that I'm using right now, I put the bottom in a jar with water and it's lettuce right here. Oh, okay. So I could probably take this outside to my garden and plant it and it would probably, I'm going to let it go a little bit longer and it'll probably grow again. But yeah. Oh, okay. So I grow, I, that's what I, grow. I grow all my stuff, it's, um, but well, I did onions last year in grow bags. And then last year I invested in some of those raised beds Jamie was talking about. And um, I hope to get some more. I cannot wait. Garden? I got one with soil in it and the other one needs to be put together. <laughs> I want to do the... Um... You know, they don't take long. I mean, they're I mean, 30 minutes at the tops, you know? Yes. I want to do the grow bags, just, but it's... I... Go ahead. I got mine all off of Amazon too, Jamie, my grow bags. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I seen they had a um buy for I forget a certain price. I just didn't bite the bullet. I have them in my cart. I just didn't bite the bullet yet. Reminder that the refrigerator door is open. <laughs> 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 it's a really bad habit of mine. So thank you so much, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're, <coughs> excuse me, if you're going to start out growing and using grow bags, um, five gallon is really good, but I would highly suggest that you buy the 10 gallon bags because you can use those for a lot more things than oh, okay. just lettuce. Um, 10 gallon, you can grow pepper plants in, tomato plants in, you can grow your cucumber plants if you wanted and then vine them up so they grow up. So I have anywhere between five gallon to up to a hundred gallons. So I have a lot of variety. Oh, wow. 
So wow. I have, I was, I'm, I'm trying, I just bought, does anybody go to Costco around here at all? I was in, no, I haven't. I was in Costco, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago and they had two blueberry bushes for $19.99. Oh, wow. And if, $19 anybody, yeah. And if anybody knows they're expensive, they were $40 at the nursery. So I asked oh. and they, they, I was told um, by Gary over at the rusted garden, I asked him what size grow bag would you use? And he told me a 25, 25 grow, uh, 25. What's the word I'm looking for? Gallon. Yeah. Thank you. 25 gallon grow bag would work fine. So I have oh, two, awesome. I have two grow bags. I think they're 50 gallon out there. And I, I looked at them today and I said, what am I going to do with these this year? Last year I did some potatoes. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put my um, blueberry trees in those, my blueberry bushes in those 50 gallon. It'll be perfect. Yes. So I, I need to get those out. I need to get them out and then protect them from my goats who could get them <laughs> and deer. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that great be chomping. Yes. I am cutting up some celery for our lettuce right now or salad. Mm. And I kind of, I cheat during this. I don't use tomatoes because I don't like the taste of tomatoes right now in the store. I, I mm -mm. think they're out during this whole winter time. Um, but I do get carrots and I will say I, sh I cheat. I get them pre-shredded because it makes easier to wash them up and then toss them in your salad when you want them, you know? Oh, good idea. I like Sometimes to make carrots. I do too. They're very good. Oh, I'll show you what I just purchased, my carrots. I'll show you these carrots I just purchased. All right. These, these just came from an Amish farm. The big out there. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to dehydrate some and shred some up and dehydrate and if oh wow and test and see how they are like once you reconstitute them in the water how they taste you know oh yes yeah, so let me know because i was thinking about doing the same thing dehydrating them yeah like, i I'm wonder if anybody try. else has done that i want to know what they taste like i don't know and then i i want to try dehydrating some of my um sourdough starter because i know it can be done because that's how oh, i yeah. i I want to dehydrate that and um, see how well that works. So for something says he grows his awesome. squash in 40, 40 gallon grow bag. Yep. I, I just read that too, as I was reading it. That's good to know. And in kiddie pool. Yep. I ain't yep. got no kiddie pool. <laughs> so, you know, my, my, um, I'm just, I'm going to experiment in some of the grow bags in that this year. But I do like the raised beds. You're going to really like it because you can get a lot in there. You know, you can do rows of stuff in there. I want, I cannot wait to try them. I have so many things I want to plant. I, I don't know. even know where to start. I, I don't know. Even That's know how I was. That's exactly I how I was. So like, oh, I'm going to. asparagus. I got this. I got that. I got carrots. I got stuff that I've never tried before. And I got mm -hmm. uh, broccoli. No broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts. And I'm like, I don't know where to start. You know, I did not start any broccoli or cauliflower here. It's probably a little too late in my zone 7A. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I, we actually I, maybe I can try and sprout them. Maybe I can try and sprout the seeds and see if that works. And if that does, then I can put them out. But yeah, that's what I think. What the Ruster Gardener said to do that. You can start them indoors and then you can. Uh, when they're about an inch or two, you can go ahead and stick them outside because they're cool with right. the crap. Props, but, crap. But here's that once a month I'm in PA and I'll mm -hmm. stop at the stands and I can pick up some of the nicest uh, heads of broccoli for a dollar fifty. So mm -hmm. do you know what That's I mean? A deal. Yeah, I know. So there's things wow. I know that I don't necessarily am going to plant because I know I if I'm up there once a month, then I can buy in bulk too from them and that's true. That's you true. know what I mean. Like it's I don't yes, know. Yes, definitely. No. McKay, I, I, have I, you I, ever I, done I, that? 
ten dollar well, store. Some things I do, I'm like, well, if I can buy it for this amount, then there's no sense in me growing it. You know what? Okay, Victoria, hang on. I'm gonna grab my book for you, honey. I have like three. There's three Amish stores right close to me, and they all vary in prices. Yep. Yep, they will. If you dehydrate, this is the book to get. Okay. I want a dehydration book. You don't? You do or you don't? I do. Yeah. This book, Victoria, because she was asking, this book, I'm going to tell you, it tells you exactly what temperature, the steps to how do you dehydrate it. So a lot of people, a lot of people will go, I'm just going to toss this up and put it in there and dehydrate it. There's a whole process to doing certain um, produce and stuff in there. Like maybe oh, you're, you, Wendy. you're supposed to, okay, let me get to the one that I did. I think it was, I think it was the cranberries. Like I'm, I was supposed to boil them because they needed to pop and open up and then rinse them and dry them out and then dehydrate them. And they, they did, they dehydrated a lot better. So here it is. It says, so this is for fresh or I have a whole bunch, um, or frozen. Oh, you're supposed to chop the cranberries in a food processor. No, that's not what I want. Whole cranberries, place the cranberries in a strainer and dip into a large pot of boiling water until their skins crack open. The cracking of the skins make a slight popping noise and okay, well, and it will become <laughs> visible. You remove them immediately and then you plunge the strainer into a large bowl of ice water. When the berries are cooled off, shake the water, spread them on the dehydrator and you dehydrate them for 12 to 15 hours at 125. That's good so, so the cookbook tells you the steps that you need to dehydrate and then in the back, just for example, friend, only for an example, whoops, here are recipes for making like parfaits and stuff with your dried fruit and what have you. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it has it for dinner. It has everything for dinners too. Um, yeah. So it is a cookbook right there. It I tells you. How to, I think I, that's a must have book right there. It is a must have book. I got this on Amazon and it wasn't that expensive when I purchased it a year or so ago. And, and I have used this book so many times. So it's, it was a good, maybe not for, maybe it's not the right book for you, but I think it's a, it, it's a really good investment if you want to get into hydrating. Yes, I do. I definitely do. <coughs> well, maybe I'll do a collaboration about that, Jamie. That sounds like a plan. We'll do a dehydration like a collaboration. So yeah, you go, McKay. Thanks for being here. I think we're going to get ready to wrap it up. Dinner is calling. It's um, 530, just about, right? Yep, 528. Yep. And uh, so we're good. I think it's time to go anyhow. Well, I appreciate you and coming I. and we're able to spend time, Miss Tina. And I appreciate everyone oh, yeah. that came and chatted with us all. That was awesome. Yes. Victoria was asking me all today, y'all. No, you're fine. You didn't need to be here either. Oh, I, I appreciate it. I, I mean, what's it called again? It's the ultimate, the ultimate dehydrating cookbook. I'm going to write that down. Mm -hmm. The ultimate dehydrating, is it? The ultimate dehydrating cookbook by Tammy Gangloff. Okay. 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 I think, I don't know. Does that show her name? Oh, there it is. Okay. I will check okay. that out. Put that in my, my Amazon basket. Yeah. And maybe we could do like um, collabs or something from that. Yeah. So you're very welcome, Victoria. My pleasure. That And that's what I'm here. I'm here to help. And things that I've learned, I'm going to pass on to anybody else. And I think learning, because here's the thing, and I'll, and then we're going to go. You don't have to have a huge dehydrator to dehydrate. You can dehydrate mm -hmm. right in your own oven at 200. So 
just know that there's an option out there if you can't afford a dehydrator. I got a magic meal for a really good price on Amazon. It's 10 trays and you, it was under, it was about a hundred and some dollars when I got mine. They've gone up a little bit in price, but compared to some of the other major brands out there, they're $300. So, but exactly. and, uh, you don't need to, you can use your oven to dehydrate. I've done it and it works. Yep. Yes. $18 um, for 18 bucks. Yeah. If that's the price, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's a really good when the produce starts coming in and you want to preserve it that way. Um, maybe I'll start doing that because we're doing the grow it, cook it. So grow it, dehydrate it. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll start that one. We'll do oh, an open, we'll do an open collaboration. So anybody who wants to join in through the growing season can, or any time of the year, you can, you can dehydrate yeah. anything. We'll just have Thanks, it Jamie. Feel better. Thank you, um, Victoria. We really appreciate you. Hey, Maritza. Hola, que paso? We're we're gonna be going now. Sorry, we're getting ready to say goodbye. But check us out on Wednesday for our chat um, with Susan, and then Wednesday afternoon we're gonna go live too on my channel over at Life in the Piedmont. So, and what time is your live? Tell people what time your live is. 2 30 is my live over on my channel. So, come on over onto my channel and watch. I'll be with Gail at Broken Heart Ministries, and we are planning some fun things and um, getting a schedule so down, exciting. getting a schedule down, you know, what to talk about. So, yeah. But thank you for coming in, Jamie. Yes. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Feel better, my friend. Thank you, sweetheart. I You're will welcome. try. I'm going to get off here and take it easy. <laughs> yeah, go do that. Thanks, everybody. Be blessed and take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you very much, Tina. Thank you for everybody. Thank you to all the moderators. And y'all stay safe and blessed yes, until we meet you. again. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.